Okay, all right, guys. The time has come for some more BO4, and we got the three new. We got two more people though coming to the stream. We got Alex though coming to the stream, saying, "Yo, hey, welcome to the stream, Alex. Glad to see you coming to the chat, man. Hell yeah, bro. How we doing today, man? Hope you're having a great day with the Alex. We got Mr. Motivator as well coming to the stream. Says hi under a second gang. <laughs> Yeah. Hell yeah, it's all motivated. Pleasure to see you come to the stream as well, man. Hopefully your Sunday... No, it's not Sunday. Hopefully having a great Monday over there, bro. Pleasure to see you sliding through the chat, man. Hell yeah, dude, we even got rude nonsense as well coming to the stream as, as well, saying hi, hello, Edgy. Hey, welcome to the stream as well, rude nonsense. Glad to see all you guys coming in, man. You know, hopefully your day is going great over there as well, rude nonsense. Pleasure to see all your legends coming through. Um, you know, we're going to be doing some more BO4 once again. It's going to be really cool. Definitely excited for that, you know. I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, it's been a good day, I'd say, Alex. It's been a good day for sure, man. You already know, just been chilling. Uh, had a nice meeting today, so got some things. Produ it's got some productive things going today. So, yeah, it's been pretty good, I'd say, man. I can't say um, it's not been too bad, you know what I mean? It's been pretty good, man. Hey, I'm glad your day's going good as well, Alex. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, we got we as well got Frederick and Brayden deploying in the chat with Frederick saying, What's up, AG? Hey, what is up as well, Frederick? The legend is coming through again. How are we doing today, Frederick? Glad to see you coming in today, man. We're doing some BO4 this time. We're going to be doing uh, some IX, but we're going to be seeing there's a catch. We're going to be trying to do it in hardcore mode, guys, which is going to be quite interesting, you know. But hopefully, both of you guys doing good with Brendan saying, Hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, Brent. Glad to see you coming to the stream, man. Hopefully both of you guys, or everyone's doing good, you know what I mean? GG's as well, Brent, for that game last time, man. That was really fun, I'd say. Really did enjoy that, you know what I mean? Doing gun game, doing Leviathan. I need to learn that map a little bit more, but um, yeah. Their maps are really cool, dude. Really enjoyed it. I think that, um, what is it? The uh, the colourful map that you go on all the obstacles. That was pretty cool, man. You know, I'm fine here. Nice one, Rude Nonsense. That's good to hear. Great stream as well, man, for when I last came in. The uh, the baby game. Um, the, the baby something game, you know. That, that was pretty funny, I'd say. Oh, yeah, dude. Glad to hear your day's going good, man. Glad to hear all you guys are having a good Monday of the day, you know. Mr. Motivator, though, says, um, and, and weight loss is going good. Hey, that's good to wear, man. Hell yeah, Mr. Motivator. He says, we're doing progress, and I can feel my, uh, the, I can feel the muscles in my arms growing. How are you, AG? Hey, honestly, hearing that, making my day, I'd say, man, that sounds awesome, dude. Yeah, it's been a good day, I'd say, man. Just been chilling for the day, getting ready for the stream. You know what I mean? But I'm good. To, I'm glad. I'm happy to hear that. I'd say, Mr. Motor. Hello. Hell yeah, man. Um, oh, Killer Queen, though, says, is BO4 worth to play? So I'd say this, Killer Queen. If you're looking for other players, probably not. I'd say that honestly. But if you're looking for a different zombies experience, something a bit more, um, I would say. I don't know, you have more options on BO4, like different modes. At the moment, we're gonna be playing on hardcore mode, which only gives us if I'm correct, 150 health. You know, you can you can customize the mo, uh, you can customize the health of uh, like 150 to 2,000 health. It's insane. But I would say, personally, for me, BO4 is worth it. But it's really what you're looking for. If you're looking for playing with other people, probably not. Definitely not. I would say. But if you're looking to just play on your ones, have a good time, do high rounds, it's definitely worth it. You know. But uh, glad to see you come to the stream, Killer Queen. How are you doing today, man? Hopefully, your day's going great over there, bro. Uh, Brown, though, says, my boss just told me congrats on my new boss job. Was a bit awkward. Hey, that's good, though, man. You know, at least you push through and I'd say, Brown, hell yeah, dude. So, I'm guessing um, they gave you confirmation of being able to work there, become a boss and stuff. That's good to hear, man. Hell yeah, dude. Well, is, is there any changes, I'd say, Brain, to becoming a boss? Like, do you have less days you have to work at? Or is, is, is there... I would guess there's more things that you're able to do in terms of, like, management. You know, you can manage more options. You have more options and things like that, which is which seems very cool, you know? Um, Frederick, though, says, I found you another map you should play. It's called Terminal, made by Logical. And pretty much all of the Logical maps are good. Oh, you know what? We can definitely give it a try for... Should we give it a try probably for tomorrow's stream? We, we might actually do that for tomorrow's stream, I'd say, Frederick. We're going to be doing a stream. I think it's either going to be tomorrow or some point in the next, either tomorrow or two other days. Just trying to find where to do the challenges. We're going to be um, uh, doing some Modern Warfare 3 zombies. But I'd say before doing that, I think it will be much more... I think it will be the better idea to actually do some BO3. Because you know, BO3 is the main thing. BO1, BO2, BO3... 
you know, World at War. Where the hell is this rope thing, you know? But um, I, I would like to ask guys, well, what, I guess to anyone that I haven't asked this in the past, but what, what's your guys' thoughts on BO4? Like, what would you guys say in the chat? I would love to hear from anyone's, uh, you know, uh, thoughts and stuff, you know? I'd love to hear from people. Personally, I think BO4 is definitely an underrated game. I think they could have they could have done a little bit better with it in terms of making more maps and stuff. I feel like this could have potentially been an upgrade from BO3. Um, you know, it's, it's, I, you know, but I would love to hear off of your guys' experience, you know? I think you can fly um, a plane in Terminal. Really? You can actually fly a plane? I actually never knew that. What the hell? It's crazy, like, uh, some of the things you can do on Customs for BO3, like, uh, what is it? That Ve Victus map, you know, it's as big, it's bigger than a Resurgence map from Modern Warfare 3. Probably even bigger than an actual Warzone map. I, I, I probably wouldn't go that far to say that, but, you know, it seems like it is with some of the, these maps they're making, you know? You can even uh, play horror maps where you do, it's not just rounds, it's more, you know, like a horror game, you know? It's crazy, man. Edgy, could you land a plane in an emergency situation? Oh, bro, see, if it was a situation where it was you having to carry, like, you know, I'd say, like, a, a hundred lives, actually, no, like, 40 lives, you know, on the plane and stuff, I don't think a plane can carry a hundred people. But, yeah, if it was, like, 40 lives in the back of a plane, 40 people in the back of a plane... I think I'll probably panic if I'll be honest. I don't know. Like, you would see the dials, you know, and I don't know. They'll probably have just different words you think would, you know, do the right thing, but it probably wouldn't. I think I'd probably just, by accident, probably crash it. <laughs> oh, God. Mm, okay, right. So let's have a quick look. Let's quickly go over here. But yeah, we're going to be doing some BO4 as, as we're showing here. And yeah, we're on hardcore at the moment. We're going to see if we can try and get to a fun little round. High little round, you know. The last time we did this, we went up to a nice light 50, which was quite fun, you know. Uh, Malex says, oh, AG, I threw the towel in for Warzone. Oh, bro, if, if, if you mean in like, you know, I guess like, uh, you know, you've just given up on it, bro. I don't blame you, to be honest, man. Like, Warzone, I don't know. The thing with Warzone, I'd say, Alex, it's like, it, it's fun when you first play, because I'm pretty sure it's got skill-based matchmaking. Warzone as well does have that. And it just makes it, like, it makes it fun at first, but then after you play, you know, I don't know, your first week of it, first day of playing it, it just gets really sweaty, and you just can't, you can't get them same kills that you used to get. That, that's the issue I have anyway, and it just, it's just like, well, what's the point of playing it, you know? Um, I don't know if you guys are the same, though. Renonsense though says a lot of um, oh no Brand though says a lot of responsibilities, um, but more flexibility. So that's good, you know. So I'd say this, you know, like whenever you want to spend time with family, Brandon, you just think okay, I can want the day off. You can give them a phone, possibly just tell them you're poorly or something, or you just tell them honestly, like hey, I just want to spend some time with family. So you have that choice now, man. You know, that's really good for you, I'd say, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Where nonsense though says, coming over to him, he says, Yes, sir, I created a compilation of the stream with music from Slipknot. Oh, really? I'll have to actually have a look at that, I'd say, with nonsense. If you if you want to, man, I'd say post it in the uh, chat if you want to, bro. See if anyone's interested into it. That'd be really cool. Hey, we got Francis though coming to the stream, says, Mad Hatter Easter egg song. Oh, Mad Hatter. I've never heard of that song before. Is this, Francis, is this on this map by any chance, bro? Or with your special weapon? Okay, so he's killed 10 zombies with our special weapon. But, um, I don't know what the Easter egg song for this map is. I know BO4 had some different style songs, if I'm correct. It was, it wasn't bad songs, you know. Um, Frederick, though, says, yeah, you have to fly a plane to the location and start killing zombies. <laughs> Dude, I can imagine that actually being quite hectic, to be honest. You just, I don't know what the controls would be like. If it's like uh, the controls as if flying a plane on GTA 5, then, oh, that should be easy, dude. That should be all fine. You know? I'm not as good as I used to be. Nah, it's like... Again, like, coming back to just, you know, constantly playing the game and not being able to get the amount of kills that you're satisfied with. If satisfied with. Just feel like the game just is on purpose at times, you know? Um, you know what I mean? Like... You could just be playing really good. It's just the game, like, it's putting you against extremely good players or putting you against a disadvantage. Um, yeah, it could just be a lot of things like that. The thing is with Warzone 2, I don't know if it's still popular as it used to be. I would presume it's kind of died down a little bit. Although it's not a bad mode, it's actually a really fun mode to play. It's just, um, yeah, it's just, I, I guess it has its ups and downs. I feel like, um... 
if Warzone didn't have any skill-based matchmaking, it would definitely make it much... Definitely uh, increase the amount of people playing it, I would say. Make it much more better, you know? But how are you doing today, Frederick? Hopefully, day's going... Uh, not Frederick, uh, Francis. Hopefully, day's going good over there, man. Great to see you come to the stream, bro. But yeah, we're just going to quickly do these challenges. Uh, let me just see what kind of door we can open. The box is going to be down there, so I presume I'll have to open up this door over here. And if I'm correct, to obtain the Wonder Weapon... Oh, God, I forgot about how to get this Wonder Weapon. Uh, what do you have to do? Uh, we'll come back to that soon, I'd say, guys, you know? Frederick, though, says, but from the streamers I've watched uh, play BO4, it wouldn't be a choice for me to buy it. Let's have a quick look, though. Um, never, uh, never play BO4 because it's only available on the PS4, and I haven't been able to afford a new console. Ah, oh, damn, man. What, are you on the, um, I guess, Frederick, are you on the PlayStation 3, by any chance? Or, from what it sounds, either Xbox? I don't know if... I'm sure Xbox has P uh, BO4, if I'm correct. But, um... The, the PS4 does have BO4, um, I, although it does run a little bit more slower because obviously, you know, old-gen consoles and stuff, you know. Hopefully with the PS5, it does slower down in, you know, its price and stuff and people can actually start to afford it much more because that would be really good to see, man. That'd be awesome to see. I I remember when the PS2 was around, like, oh, people were selling it for like £2,000, £4,000. Well, because of the um, the shortages, the, the shortages, shortage, the less amount of uh, what is it? I think it's CP CPUs, I think, or uh, yeah, CPUs, I think, for the PS5. Um, Brown though says about his uh, list of best COD games. He says BO1 has to be BO2 after that, with then BO3 and then World at War, BO4 and then Cold War. See, that's respectable right there. I could see that statistically. Uh, being quite good right there, man, you know? BO1, I would say th the best thing with BO1 is, like, in my opinion, anyway, all the map, most of the maps, anyway, have, um, have traps in, like, actual wall traps, which makes it just feel like, oh, okay, I can actually work here, you know? I can actually do some stuff. With BO2, they didn't really have much, uh, wall traps in any maps. I think it was just Mob of the Dead, you know? Um... I do wish that BO4 was more liked, but again, with them taking Jug out the way, it was definitely a disimprovement. You know, it wasn't that good. Um, I was on PS3, says Frederick, uh, but only lost, uh, but I lost my PS3 in the pawn shop and currently don't have a console. Oh, damn, man. Hopefully you do re, hopefully you do get a console if, you know, if it's a PS3, uh, PS4, or even a PS5 back, man. I will say this, Frederick, if, if if you probably look on eBay, like eBay's a great place to look for consoles. Uh, yeah, if you look on eBay and places like that, they could probably sell a PS5, I, I would probably guess, for probably a, a good, like, you know, two to three hundred. Yeah, probably, probably leading around four hundred, actually, but it's not a bad price, I guess, for a newer console. I'm not going to say new, because it's not new at all, but you know what I mean, um... Uh, hey, we got MJ though coming to the stream though says BO4 Zombies isn't bad on PS4, but PC is better. So yeah, it's 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 not bad on the PS4, not at all. Like, I mean Evan streams it on the PS4. I remember when I used to play it on the PS4 a little bit, it, it was actually really cool. I just remember it for the PS4, I guess, because it, it's a little bit older. I think it's for uh BO3 as well. Um it would take a long time to wait, what do we have to do for these gauntlets? Uh if I'm correct, we have to Oh yeah, we have to knife the thing, don't we? But yeah, with the PS4, it would just run a little bit louder. And that was one of the issues with it. I think it wasn't even just BO4. It was GTA 5. It was, yeah, it was a lot of games for the PS4. But the crazy thing is with PlayStation 4 is how long it's lasted. I mean, it's two thousand. it came out in 2014. So it's now 10 years old, guys. You know what I mean? I think the PS5 will shorten down in price very shortly. I think it will, you know. Um, let's have a quick look, though. Um, I think I'd rather play BO4 than Cold War. Hey, that's respectable, man. BO4, like, again, it has that kind of... It, it has a similar engine to, like, uh, the style of BO3, you know, to where... I don't know. It's It doesn't feel like a Modern Warfare engine, you know? Oh, shit. I just... I keep... I need to remember that this is not... Um, <laughs> this is hardcore. This is hardcore. I need to remember that. Okay, right. Let's just quickly just do this real quick. Gain up some good points, I'd say, guys. And we're going to go over to one of the main other areas. Just quickly set up over there. 
I don't know why I bought this area, but I guess we got one of the gauntlets done or one of the areas done. Um, let's have a look. MJ though says, AG, your voice uh, slightly changed. It got a little deeper, but BO, yeah, it could just be my throat. I don't know why my throat can be a little bit croaky at times. My bad on that, guys. <laughs> I don't get why it does that at times. I think because, like, a uh, phlegm just gets stuck in there, and it's it's not even my voice. Like, I can sometimes be quite high-pitched, but uh, that's just... Yeah, I don't know why it does that. My bad on that, guys. <laughs> so, a quick look, though. Um, MJ, though, says it. Um, but BO4 on the PS4 is a good feeling, too. Oh, yeah, it does. I mean, that PlayStation feeling of playing games, like, on the PlayStation, uh, you know, hits different. To, you know... Like, I've realized for the PC, it's it's nice. You get everything, you know, hand, like, you can do everything on the PC. But when you come back to that, you know, classic PlayStation feeling, even on the PS5, it, it feels nice. It feels calming, I'd say, in my opinion. It feels nice and calming, you know. All right, okay. So, yeah, we do need to be a little bit careful, though, with being in hardcore. I feel like we're playing as if we're playing on BO3 or something like that. We need to kind of, you know, be a little bit careful, guys. So, one thing we need to know is... Right, let's have a quick look. See where... Well, the main... Um, see where we came up last. I believe, is it this area, I think? I believe it is. E Ooh, are we? Are we in the right area? No, we're not. Okay. Let's just quickly just go through here real quick. We just do here. But yeah, we could try and get a goal, though, guys, of... Uh, I'd say 10 likes, guys. That'd be great to see in the stream. We could try and get a goal of 10 likes, you know? Hey, we got BO3 Master, though, coming to the stream, says, what's up, guys? A hey, long time no see, dude. Welcome to the stream, BO3 Master. Pleasure to see you come to the chat, man. Came into the right time, I'd say, bro. We're on a bit of Black Ops 4. But um, how are you doing today, man? How is your day going today, BO3 Master? Hopefully your day's going great over there, bro. Pleasure to see you coming by. BO3 on the PS4 is broken. Really? I, I don't know if it could be to do with, like, glitches, or could it be um, to do with, uh, like, people cheating all the time? I don't know. I, I did hear recently, MJ, like, well, not recently, but I, I remember hearing people uh, starting to use cheats on the PS4 version of BO3, which is, uh, it's kind of weird to see because I don't know, you would th like, you just don't really see much people cheat on the PS4. It, it seems quite secure on the PlayStation 4. The PS5, I think people can cheat on older gen games for the PS5 because it'll connect to the ps4 but yeah good man what about you yeah it's been a good day i'd say man it's been a good day for sure mj just been chilling for the day getting ready for the stream you know it's been good thank you for asking man i prefer to uh, find a reasonable price pc because of all the custom apps available on steam and to play on pc would be cheaper since the ps4 and the 5 and xbox charge you to play with their uh, network yes honestly that's smart thinking there frederick i, I honestly i would wreck I recommend to anyone just choose PC if 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 you just want to just play any game, it really does work. And you don't need to. I wouldn't say you. Yeah, you don't need to spend a crap amount of points, uh, not points, <laughs> pounds or dollars, like four thousand dollars or pounds. You could probably save up about one thousand five hundred pounds or you know dollars and stuff, and you're chilling. You know what I mean? You're all good. Oh God. Okay, right, we just got to be a little bit more careful, though, guys. But yeah, I think with my PC, I bought it for around... How much did I buy this PC? I think it was £1,015, you know? But um, with you guys, you know, you, you could buy a PC even cheaper and, you know, still play, uh, you know, whatever games you guys want to. With this one, you know, I'm able to play the new Modern Warfare 3, which is really cool to see, you know? Okay, let's have a quick look. So we just got that all done. So I've got that quest done. I think we need to get pack a punch in order to get the. If I'm correct, I'm just trying to think here. Um, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? I think we need to get the power on. If I'm correct, guys. Uh, let's have a quick look though. MJ though says glitches, uh, not people hacking. Ah, uh, so it's, yeah, it's just glitches. Just, I guess uh, for the benefit for it just being glitches and stuff is you know they're just. They're just, like, if they were to be able to hack or whatever, they'll be able to get your IP or, you know, just really screw your game. But if they're just glitching, they're probably in a glitch spot. You know, things like that, man. Or, I don't know, invisible or whatever, you know what I mean? Hopefully it does get fixed, man, because BF4 seems to still be a quite played game on the PlayStation, you know? Like, online for multiplayer and zombies. 
Hey, we got Evan though coming to the stream says, what's up, bro? Hey, what is up, Evan? Glad to see you coming to this into today's stream, man. You came to a good stream today, bro. We're on some Black Ops 4 zombies. We're um, yeah, we're gonna do hardcore, I'd say. We're doing hardcore. I'm just curious, Evan, do you know how to get the free wonder weapon, the Death Orion? I, I remember we did it last time, but if you know anything about it, if you don't, then we should be able to just look at a quick guide for it. But if you uh if you know anything about it. You have to give any tips as how to like what kind of parts we need to find or anything like that. I believe you need to find. Ah, uh, it's. I don't. Do you need to get the power on first? I could be wrong here. I feel like you need to get the power on first if I'm correct. You know, I'm good, guys. You? Yeah, it's been a good day, Evan. It's been a good day, I'd say, bro. Just been chilling. Um, had a nice meeting today, so it's it, it feels productive today. You know. What's up, Evan? How was your day? MJ says, pretty good. I don't feel like describing the glitches because they're just way too, way too many. Really, there's actually that many glitches for BO3. That's crazy, man. I haven't played BO3 MP in some time, so, you know, coming back to it would definitely be a shock, man. I think, yeah, you know, the kind of glitches I would I would kind of think are just like, you know, um, being out of the map glitch. I'm, I know there's a glitch that involves you having to use a mod menu for BO3, but I think they patched that for bo3 which is actually really good um but i remember that was around for a little bit <laughs> which is kind of crazy um in the wrong person i'm the wrong person to ask i usually just roll the weapon you usually just roll the weapon oh, okay that's all cool I mean, that's all cool man um all right so we might just either roll the box or see i feel like rolling the box would be could be good or it could be really bad you know we don't want to waste too many points so i'm thinking God, it's been ages since. I think the last time we did this uh, on this map on stream, it's crazy, guys. I think it was... Uh, how long was it ago? It was probably around seven months ago, guys. That, that, that's how long it's been since we've actually played BO4 uh, 9, uh, which is insane. But what we'll do, actually, is we'll get the Escarot, or what, what, whatever you call it, Escarot, Escara. And, uh, yeah, we'll just get this gun, you know, honestly. Um, Fred of those says... Um, Honestly, I think it's ridiculous if they want to play, uh, if you want to play online, the PS4, PS, uh, PS4 to PS5 and Xbox, and you have to pay to use their network. And on top of that, you have to pay for internet. Yeah, now, honestly, I'm fully with you on that, Frederick. Like, if you really look at it, it's, you're buying the console, all right, and say you bought, say, say you bought a console when it first came out, I don't know, like, say the PS5, when that first came out, that was coming for a lot of money um so you've bought a console for 2000 and then you've got to pay for wi-fi which i think they increased uh, a little bit ago from 4.99 to 6.99 basically seven pounds you know it's it, it's quite ridiculous i'd say man i think there is i guess for them to i guess how can how can i say for them to um make it feel acceptable they do do a good offer so whenever you buy playstation plus for playstation anyway you um you actually get from some free games which is actually really cool i will be honest there like world war 2 you know gonna do bo2 zombies wednesday okay that's pretty cool i'd say and that's pretty cool man and i'd be excited to see some bo2 some bo4 as well you know what i mean um just gonna quickly go over here we're just gonna quickly look at a quick guide we always want to see a guide guys for um how to get the uh, wonder weapon so how to get the wonder weapon on uh ix bo4 now i think i'll just have to look at probably a minute of this and i'll be able to remember it <laughs> uh there we go noah j Let's have a quick. I think it was a Noah J. I seen it might have been. Um, hey, we got Alex that comes to the stream. Says, "Hey, how are you? Hey, it's a good state for sure. Alex, just chilling. We're on a bit of Bo4 zombies. Can't, can't, can't go worse than this. You know what I mean? Things are looking pretty good out, say, Alex. But uh, how are you doing today as well, man? Glad to see you come to the stream, bro. Are you doing a stream later on, say, Alex? You got any stream plans? All right, so we're just looking at this real quick. So we're just gonna have a look. So um. Okay, right, so we need to do these. Okay. Okay, so we need to start opening up Pack-A-Punch. Let's have a quick look. Let's speed through it. Yes, okay. 
Right, okay, guys. So I've already got an idea of what we need to do. We already know what to do now. So we need to, need to we just need to get pack a punch open. And then after that, we'll just need to um we need to shoot a cauldron near the pack a punch area. It should be quite cool, you know. Ah, the A. Thank you, Renonsense. I do appreciate it. Renonsense, though, says to help us out. He says, number one, pack a punch. Number two, build the acid trap. Number three, the scorpion key. So, yeah, they're, they're, the, they're the three main steps. I think in between them, you've got to shoot like a cauldron, if I'm correct. Now, we've got around 3,000 pounds, uh, points, 3,000 points that we just need to, that, that we can spend around the map. In fact, while we're doing that as well, guys, we can actually find some of the parts for the shield, you know? you got to realize this isn't hardcore mode, so this can be a little bit trickier. You know what I mean? The last time we did do this, things did go quite well, you know? I'm good, I don't know. Yeah, yeah that's all cool, Alex. It would be cool to see another VR video, though, because um, they're pretty cool, man. Seeing uh, BO2 and VR, things like that. I'm sure that says I suck at BO4 zombies right now, so you don't even know if I can get high rounds anymore. <laughs> nah, hey, it's fair, man. I mean, it's understandable. When, when you don't play a game for a long time... Um, you tend to be a little bit, you know, well, not not as not as good as you previously were. Like, right now, we're trying to figure out how to get some of the parts and stuff. We haven't, you know, we're playing a little bit sloppy at the moment, but uh, we're getting our we're getting our roots around the map, you know. Love to play a little bit of nine every once in a while. I don't really know this map too much, but um, you know, I know for some people, like Evan, loves playing beer for a lot. You know, it knows much more about the map and stuff with like Dead of the Night um ancient evil it would be cool to do them kind of um maps in the future i just haven't learned them you know what would you guys say if you guys have played black ops 4 I'd, i don't know what everyone's favorite map would be i mean you've got a total of seven maps i think with the ether crew maps and then the um the chaos crew maps which are pretty cool i don't know what everyone's favorite map would be i i i think personally i would probably say um voyage i love i love love me some voyage man in fact, let's just get this real quick. And uh, we'll just... Yeah, we'll just take this guy out. Let's just do this, actually. Nice one. Okay, right. Let's just quickly just take this guy out real quick. Everyone though says MJ, normally difficulty isn't that hard. Normal difficulty, yeah. I mean, like, once... I guess once you get a grip around the game... You know, you kind of, I, I guess you'll kind of be able to be much more used to it. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of fact, just getting used to the game a little bit. You know, um, it sort of depends on what map you play. Yes, I, I think, yeah, tr true from Evan there. Like if you're playing, uh, you're playing, I don't know, nine, I guess. Like it didn't really take us much. It didn't take us long, really, to figure out some of the steps. Like we've literally just learned, you know, but if you're playing a map like Ancient Evil, or I would guess um, Dead of the Night, I think. Uh, people have said Dead of the Night can be quite uh, tricky to set up on. That's going to be different, you know? Um, Alex just says, um, you have to shoot the cauldron with the with a packed weapon. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's good that we've still got a pack a bunch weapon. Now, I believe we can open up this door if I'm correct, can we? Okay, no, I think we have, to, we have to get pack a bunch in order to open up that door. So, what we'll do is we will just travel up here real quick. And, um, yeah, so I think once we get Pack-A-Punch, we'll be able to have some of the other doors open, uh, leading from, uh, open from Pack-A-Punch, which should be pr uh, pretty good. Um, hey, we got Keith though coming to the stream saying, hey, AG, thumbs up, bro, at work? Hell yeah, Keith, welcome to the stream, man. Hopefully your day at work is going great over there, dude. Pleasure to see you coming by today's stream, man. We're trying a bit of Black Ops for at the moment, bro. We're, uh, yeah, we're just trying to uh, survive on the map 9, but we're, there's a catch. We uh, we survive in hardcore mode, so we've only got 150 health, with the previous health of being 250, you know? But um, hopefully, you, uh, hopefully your day at work over there, Keith, is going great over there, man. Great to see you coming by. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. That just made me jump out my uh, seat right <laughs> Okay, right. That was a little bit too close right there, though, but we should be all good. Uh, let's have a quick look, though. Alex, though, says, um, AG, pick up the cauldron on the pedestal on the center of the platform. Pick up the cauldron on the pedestal on the center of the platform. The cauldron. If, if I'm correct, you have to shoot it first, if I'm correct, Alex. We'll have a quick look, man. Um, 
Let's just quickly, in fact, yeah, let's just quickly put this over here real quick. And then we'll just, uh, we'll see where you're on about, Alex. I believe it's the cauldron you have to shoot, if I'm correct, bro. It's the video where we voice over the Primus crew. Blood of the Dead is coming along nicely. Just waiting on the moon. Just waiting on no, uh, just waiting on one person to finish up their lines. Hey, that's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to see that, I'd say, bro. So you guys do voiceovers of characters. I think it could go really well as well. I mean, if you look at the Evan Guide skits, they did amazing, dude. You know, and that was all just through creativity. So that could go even better, I'd say. You know what I mean, man? Let's just quickly just go through here. Let's see what we can try and do. Okay. Let's, um... So I believe... Did we just leave it like that? I think... I think Pack-A-Punch just... Yeah, okay, right. It just opens up like that. And the door behind us opens up from there. There you go. Um... Uh, Fre uh Frederick, though, says... By the way, AG, since I heard you mention Noah J456... Um... That's who... Um... That's... That's who was streaming the map Terminal with Mr. T Lexify. And they finished the Easter egg and the video. Um... It's from three years ago. Oh, dude, that's pretty cool, man. So the video... So the map is actually not that old as well like only being three years ago that's not old at all dude i might have seen the map before if i'm correct frederick i don't know is if terminal was a remake of um one of the modern warfare modern warfare 2 maps the desert one with the oil rig if it's based off that i think i've seen that map before but sadly have not given it a try which would be really cool to it would be sick to give it a try one day we'll, we'll do a stream on it um tomorrow actually We'll do a stream of all the custom maps you guys want us to try and stuff. Um, so I think there's going to be the map where uh, Cyan wanted us to try, Frederick wants us to try, Alex wants us to try. We'll do all the maps you guys want us to play and stuff, which will definitely be fun. Excited for that. Um, okay, right. I don't think we have enough ammo, so we'll just we'll just wait until dog round. I think. Wait until dog round. You know. Uh, Evan though says I don't know what I'm gonna name that video though. Maybe we voice over. Uh, where? Oh, my bad. Some, some kick. Um. Maybe we voice over the Primus crew and Blur of the Dead. I don't know. See, I guess, I mean, if you're able to, like, if you guys are able to match the sentences, like, in the cutscene of what they say, that would be very impressive, man. That would be some impressive stuff right there, bro. You know? Let's have a quick look, though. Frederick, this is, I recommend you watch it after you finish your stream. Noah has it titled Terminal 2. I'll have to have a look at it, Frederick. If, if you want to, man, try and send me it on Discord and stuff, bro. I would love to have a look at it. Um, sometimes I just forget a little bit at times, but, um, yeah, if it's possible, man, would love to have a look at it. If, uh, send it me through Discord if you want to, or if you're in the server, send it on the Discord server. That'd be awesome, dude. Um, let's have a quick look, though. Alex, though, said, uh, no, it's a different cauldron. There are two cauldrons. One you have to shoot with a packed weapon, and one on the pedestal in the center of the trials platform oh okay 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 so if i'm correct i have to i believe in order to actually oh shit i believe in order to actually get that i need to complete some of the challenges uh alex i think so we're just gonna try and find alex one of the parts for the shield i think we just need to find one more part yeah it's just one more part and then we should be all okay let's have a quick look though um let's probably go around here if i'm correct there's a part down here you know i, I in fact I, I i guess have any of you guys done um any of the easter eggs for bo4 like uh i think alex has done blood of the dead as well as ever but i guess like have you guys tried some of them like ancient evil i don't know what ancient evil will be like as an easter egg i, uh, I could see that being pretty interesting oh okay this is going kind of tight right here Let's quickly just do this real quick. Let's see where the last part would be. I'm pretty, pretty sure the last part of this shield is... I don't know where it would be. I think it would be down here, if I'm correct. Let's have a quick look, though. Um, I did that legit where Dempsey talks. I made it to where the person voicing him over talks when he does it in the cutscene. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Right, generally can't wait to see what the video will be like as well, Evan. You know, when it comes out and stuff, see, see like the uh, voice matches, like 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 the voiceovers. You know, when they're doing the cutscene, I can imagine some parts of the cutscene being pretty funny as well. <laughs> like near the end where they're going up near the docks and stuff. I don't know. I believe if Trey is voicing, um, is it Nikolai Trey is voicing? <laughs> Nah, fair play as well for doing them kind of things. Like, um, I don't know. I've 
I'm not really good with voiceovers. I, c I couldn't really voice over it. I don't know. I find it a little bit like, I don't know. Where is this last shield part? Um, yeah, stamina modifier fills. Stamina modifier fills. Yeah, bro. We literally got the stamina as modifier. So I think with this one, Frederick, obviously it'll make us a little bit faster. But I don't know if there's any other kind of upgrades for it, you know? It's pretty cool how they brought in the modifiers. I don't know if you guys agree there that it's pretty cool with modifiers. But, um... Yeah, it'd like it would enhance the perk just by a little bit, you know. Like I think Crook of Five would regain your health up by just a bit. Oh, we've found it. We've found it. You know, Crook of Five is being modified will regain your health by a little bit. Uh, you know, cool things like that, you know. Let's have a quick look though, guys. Um, we got Ravens though coming to the stream saying, um, oh no, my bad. That was Ravens. Oh my, I thought that was Frederick that said that. But yeah, we got we got a we got stamina up as modifier and savings. Now I think it speeds us up a little bit more, makes us run a little bit faster, you know. But uh, glad to see you come to the stream, Ravens. How are we doing today, man? Hopefully you're having a great day over there, bro. Pleasure to see you coming by. Fredo though says no. Um, in the desert, you fly a plane from an air from an aircraft carrier, and then you fly to the starting room area on the map, and the plane leads on its own. When you reach the starting area, I don't use uh, I don't use Discord and no link for it. Ah, all right, that's all cool. What I'll do then, actually, Frederick, I'll go you, man. I'll um I'll put on the sides. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. This should be easy. I'll just do um Noah J and uh, T Lexify play terminal. There we go. Okay, Terminal 2, if I'm correct, from three years ago. I think I've just seen a 1.3 million views. That's insane, man. That's crazy. So I've got it on the side, I'd say, Frederick. I should be able to see it through there. And yeah, after the stream, I'll have a look at it and stuff. And that'd be really cool to see and stuff. That'd be awesome. Um, and it says, uh, oh, let me just quickly see where we're going. I want, we want to try and get a, yeah, get a gun, uh, get the shield, I think. Let's have a quick look, though. Um, Alex has said, I just want a pedestal. Evan though says uh, I want to do. Evan though says I want to do more cutscenes, but I have different people, so it changes it. Uh, uh, change uh, so it changes it up. Lol. Um, imagine if Trey is voice acting Dashio. <laughs> that would be interesting. I think isn't he doing um Nikolai? So I, it would be an interesting thing to see in what is like uh, with Takio and stuff. Damn, we had to use that real quick. Let's, uh, all right, we're going to go over to the shield real quick, guys. We're probably just going to try and lower down the zombies. I think that's just going to be a smarter approach. We're trying to go, we're trying to do everything fast as done possible. And we don't really want to do that. We want to try and, um, yeah, we want to try and sell it properly, I'd say. I think we already remember the strat as well, guys. If you guys haven't played none before, there's this really good strategy that you can do. And it's actually fairly effective. It's where one of the, um, it's where the shield build is. We'll have to go over to it real quick and we'll show you guys. I believe it's down here. Better that says, that's it. Nice one, right. I've got it on the side. So this time, like this time, I won't forget anything like, uh, with, uh, viewing videos you guys want me to see. But yeah, we'll definitely have a look at it after the stream and stuff. See what it's like, you know? I, from the picture as well of it, from the picture of it as well, Frederick, the, uh, I've seen that map before. They've got that on Modern Warfare 3 Remastered. Or Modern Warfare 7 or something like that. <laughs> But yeah, that map looks... That, I've, when playing that map for multiplayer, it's actually a pretty fun map. Great for search and destroy, dude. You know, great map for some SND, man. Okay, right. We're just building up the shield over here. Nice. All right. It says kill kill nine zombies with the brazen ball. Okay, so switch to this. Let me just quickly... Oh, okay, there we go. Right. That's good stuff right there, guys. So, with that, now I think it's going to be a dog round or a max ammo round next, you know? Alex, though, says, AG, hey, we need to play some COD Zombies together sometime. We do, Alex. We do need to get a game in, man. I think I think we was going to plan on doing a game together. I was I was meant to invite you to a VC, but I just, I don't think it actually, it never happened and stuff, man. Um, You know, if, 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 if everyone's available and stuff, or us to available we could do a vc later on today or if you if you want to text me and stuff and uh, we could try and plan the game and stuff man you know should should be a should be available like any time and stuff because i don't really have much things going at the moment you know oh god okay right we got nine out of there that's pretty good so far so let's just quickly go around here 
We've got Victoria Sordis as well. So that's pretty good, you know? Because things like Mob 5, Call of the Dead, I'm definitely doing next. Those three are going to be fun to do. See, bro, honestly, cutscenes are really interesting, I'd say. And, like, you know, especially, like, cinematic cutscenes where you see, like, the camera placed and stuff. Things like that. I feel you there, Mama, being interested into cutscenes. I guess with you guys doing, like, voiceovers. You know, I can see the really creative part into that. You know? Um... Okay, let's... Ooh, okay, we've got a max ammo. Get out of the way, um, gladiator. What is this guy doing? Let's just quickly just go through here real quick. Hopefully this guy dies. Come on, it's time to die. Okay, let's have a quick look, though. Um, make sure... Okay. Let's just quickly go through here real quick. Alex says the golden spawned on the pedestal after you do the three challenges. Oh, oh, it's spawned... Oh, okay. I understand now. Let's just quickly just go. Oh, okay, right. We're just going to have to shorten these guys down. Kill five zombies. Uh, five tiger zombies. Oh, my God. Let's just quickly just do this real quick, guys. We can try and get a goal, though, guys, of 10 likes in the stream. That'd be awesome. I don't know how many likes are on at the moment, though, guys. But if you guys are enjoying it, you know, you guys have just, you've just came through to the channel. You know, would recommend hitting the like and subscribe. Um, we like to do zombies daily over here in terms of streams and just have a good time in general, you know. Okay, right. So I've just picked that up at the moment, Alex. I think we're going to probably... I'm guessing the next step is going over to uh, Pack-A-Punch and then shooting one of the cauldrons. And then if I'm correct, with that cauldron, you have to... I know you have to go into one of the four sides over here. Not in this area, but one of the other areas that are underground. I think more of the... It looks... It's a green area. Okay, nice one. Right, so that's just dropped right there. AG, the cauldron is already on the pedestal. Pedestal? Oh, oh, is it already on the pedestal? Uh, okay, so I think we've just done something there. So I'm, we're just quickly just seeing real quick what we have to do. So we're just going to quickly go back. Go into here real quick. Ah, right. Okay. That part. So we need to find two parts, guys. Two parts. One part looks like a, uh, a cog, a clog. And another part is a chain. So, and that's going to be in the Pack-A-Punch room. So, we're going to go over to them both areas. We're right next to it, just right around here. So we're just going to go around here. I believe they're placed in two, if not three areas. Which one of them being that part. And I think let's quickly go over to the other section real quick, which is going to be right down here. Golden spawned on the pedestal. Um, with you get the pack a punch weapon from the challenge. Okay, so I think we've just completed that like. So we've just shot on the cauldron at the moment. Um, I think we're on the step now where we've just where we collect two of the parts, which are the change and the clog, the like the clock clog. I think I think that's what you call it. And I think you have to you have to build them. If I'm correct, let's have a quick look. Ah, it's the symbols now. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, so we need to go to different areas. And so around the map, there's going to be um, arrows that are going to be set on fire, guys. And with these arrows that are pointing, we need to go to different areas and find them. So let's just quickly go over to... Let, let's see where the plate... Let's see where the arrow is pointing us real quick. Alexa says, now build the acid trap. Oh, wait. Should we build the acid trap before? And uh, we can actually do that, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Let's quickly go to the acid trap real quick. Let's just quickly see real quick as well. Uh, let's quickly just do that. Okay, that's pointing over there. So we'll do that while we're over there real quick. But now, I do love a bit of beer for every once in a while. You know, get on some Black Ops 4, man. It feels different. It really does. Nice. We've just got that all prepped up. That's looking pretty good right there. Now, the arrow is pointing right around here. So, from the video, I think we've just found it. I'm building this trap. You'll, uh, you'll have to use... Um, uh, you'll have to use the acid trap. Yes, I think in order to use the acid trap, it will drop another part, which will then we will have to go into the... It's one of the underground bits, if I'm correct, Alex. I could be wrong there, but it's one of the underground bits. Um, 
Let's have a quick look, though. A little bit puzzled. My bad. Okay. Really pumped for the 5k tournament, man. It's going to be interesting. I mean, it's going to be interesting. Definitely excited for it. Again, definitely not expecting much, like, to, to win or anything. You know, just doing it for fun. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, as you see, I know I don't barely don't even know how to get any of the parts and stuff. Okay, so it's going to be... All right, so that's the other area. So he shows the last area of where we need to go to. Okay, right. Let's have a quick look. Uh, okay. So we go down. We go underground. He's at the cauldron area where we're at. And it's right over there. Okay, so we're just going to quickly go down over there. Going to go low, low, low. Okay, so it's not over there. Wait there. Let's just quickly see. Is it around here? No doubt. Okay, right. We need to shorten down the zombies real quick, guys. Let's have a quick... Oh, no. It, it is right over there. We, we can see it. It is right over there. So let's just quickly shorten down these guys real quick. Okay, nice. Right, we've just picked it up, guys. That's really good so far. Even though it says there's something against... Uh, there's nothing against looking up uh, guides during uh, your actual run, pretty sure. Okay, so that's good then. Wait, uh, wait. Uh, during your actual run, pretty sure. Oh, okay. That, that, that... I'll honestly leave so much more stress uh, alone there. Like, when we're actually doing the proper attempt, we don't have to, like, you know, struggle on finding parts and stuff. So, you know... Okay, that's good to note then, Evan. That's good to note. Thank God for that. <laughs> If we were to have to, like, uh, memorize everything, that would kind of... It wouldn't suck, but it would kind of be a bit like, oh, damn, man. <laughs> I guess for the people that know everything about this game, it would be, like, it would... They would probably look at it and be like, oh, damn. You know? Let's have a quick look, though. But, yeah, really, I'm excited for it, man. I mean, again, I think, like, 9 and Voyage of Despair, I'm going to find pretty laid back. I feel like... Mob of the Dead and probably... Definitely Ancient Evil are going to probably be one of the most... Uh, yeah, w w one of the most challenging ones, you know? Alexo says, one part requires you to get full green thumb and and the pot from the crowd. Okay, so one green thumb. Is the green thumb underground? Let's have a quick look. We're just recapping real quick, Alex. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Okay. And then... Okay, so then we just put the part down there. Yep. And then we just need to put the trap on. Okay. Okay, right. And then, and then the acid goes down and it actually activates it. Right. Things looking pretty good. We've still got a good amount of points as well. Most maps I know how to play. Um, if I wanted to get something... Um, I didn't fully. You can uh, search it up during your legit run. See, that's good then. That's that's much more calming there, I'd say, man. <laughs> oh, dude. I could just imagine, like, halfway through the run of, like, Blood of the Dead. Oh, no, Ancient Evil on how to get, like, one of the gauntlets. And just not knowing a single thing. And just, like, I don't know, trying to find the shield parts and everything. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's not too far as well, Evan, from the 5k tournament. So, you know... I guess with all of us, you know, practicing might be a motive, you know, soon. It's definitely going to be a motive, I'd say. Oh, okay. So what do we have to do after? Do we have to pick the part up? Oh, okay. Right. So we, then we get the scorpion key. Okay. Right, okay, so now we just need to get the flame and green farm. Get the hand uh, beside your health. Uh, get the hand beside your health bar to a green thumb, and the crowd will throw a golden cup. Right, okay, so that's going to be our next plan, though, Alex. We're going to do that. Do appreciate you guys helping out as well. It's genuinely helpful, you know? It is good right there. Do appreciate it, guys. Before, though, just going to quickly go to the taller real quick, though. We won't be too long, I'd say, guys. Just give us two seconds. We won't be too long. Hopefully, everyone's enjoying the stream, though.
Okay, right guys, we are back in the stream. We're ready to roll. So we've got to do the next couple of steps, a bit like Alex said. we just got to go over, get the green thumb basically activated in the starting room area. We should be all good. We should be able to get that done in probably the next cut two or three rounds. And um, after that, I think we will be one step away from actually getting the Easter egg done. We should be really good. Should definitely work wonders, you know. Let's have a quick look, though. If anyone is interested as well, we are streaming on Kip. We got oh, we got someone coming to the stream though. Says uh, Deep Sleep Catnap from Kip. He says, "What's good, Alex? A Bo4? You already know Deep Sleep. Uh, deep Sleep. My bad, man. You already know, bro. Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you coming through today's stream on Kick. Um, yeah, it's on some Bo4 at the moment. I'd say Deep Sleep, where we play on hardcore mode. I don't know if you're still on the stream, bro, but um, how are you doing today, man? Hopefully, you're having a great day over there, dude. Glad to see you coming through. Oh god. Oh god. All right, okay. Let's have a quick look, though. We are closing to 4.5k now. That's a W. Honestly, going to be excited for it, man. Definitely going to be excited for it, I'd say. I feel like the first map's going to be fun, which is going to be 9. Um, and then after that, be Voyage, which will be pretty cool. Going to be excited for that. Alex says, get the, hand beside, uh, get the hand beside your health bar to a thumb up. And the crowd will throw a golden cup. Okay. Okay, right. Yeah, so he's got a green thumb at the moment. Yeah, I think he drops a, a cup if I'm correct. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. Okay, right. Um, Justin, though, coming into the stream says, um, that me and kick? Oh, no way. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Justin, man. Oh, yeah, dude. I do appreciate it, dude. I don't know what I said, dude, three times. I don't know what's going on today. But, yeah, I do appreciate it, man. Thank you for popping over to Kick. We do, yeah. We do like to do streams on Kick quite uh, quite a bit. The same time as we stream on YouTube. Um, you know, obviously, the main priority is YouTube. But because Kick is brand new, you know, want to you know, wanna dive down a little bit on Kick and stuff. See what that's, uh, see what that's like, you know. Not really expecting much from it, though. Okay. Come on. Right. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. So, we, so I guess... Yeah, okay. Not too bad. Right. Nice one. Okay, right around 11 so far, guys. Pretty good with that. Not too bad. Probably should have waited with that, but it's all cool. Okay. How was your day going, Alex? Yeah, it's been a good day, I say, Deep. It's been a good day, to be honest, man. Just been chilling for the day, bro. Um, had a nice meeting. You know, so yeah, it's been pretty productive, to be honest, man. It's been pretty productive. Still trying to find work, which is kind of annoying. Just kind of, I don't know, going on my own terms of that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it is quite, quite rough, to say the least, with finding a job. It's not easy. I don't know, have any of you guys gotten an apprenticeship before or anything like that? We'd love to know. Apparently apprenticeships are quite good. Okay, nice one. Things are looking pretty good so far. We're just getting the screen thumb up until we actually get a park, guys. And I think we'll just have one more step after that. And then we'll be able to get the Death Orion, which should be pretty good. Well, hopefully it does land down soon. I think we've got to get some other perks as well. Um, got suspended on Twitch. I did see that you sent that on the Discord, um, Justin. How come, man? What did you do on Twitch? Did you say anything bad? Or did you play a game that was probably inappropriate? Anything like that, I'd say, bro. Hopefully you do get uh, your suspension, you know, taken off soon. Because, you know, everyone makes mistakes and stuff. People don't deserve to be, you know, banned for life on a streaming platform. You know, unless, you know, if they've just done something silly, you know what I mean? Hopefully you do get your account back, though, man. Botted auto account? Ah, you don't want to do that, I'd say, man. Yeah, you don't want to do that, I'd say, bro. I know a lot of people, like, you know, some people... Would, I don't know. Some people just do it, I guess, just for fun and stuff, which is fine. Like, it's not hurting anyone else, you know? 
But yeah, I think with Twitch, um, Twitch wouldn't accept that, I'm guessing. I don't think YouTube would as well. So I guess, I don't know. I think you can... F if you would get bonded accounts, then you can get money from it, you know, and then they won't like that, because obviously it's part... Report me stupid? Uh, yeah, I mean, it... <sighs> if... Now, if someone... Yeah, again, it's it's one of them things, you know, it's... I guess it's just one of the main rules that you just can't do, you know? <laughs> Zion says, ain't you playing BO4? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, dude, we don't normally play BO4 that much, Zion, but bro, the time has come. And we're playing a bit of classic Black Ops 4. And uh, we do, we're on hardcore moment. We're on hardcore mode as well, uh, Zion. I mean, yeah, we're going to give it a try, dude. We're going to see how far we can go. Practice for the uh, the tournament as well that Evan's going to be holding, which is going to be quite fun. And yeah, man, it's going to be interesting. But uh, how are you doing, Cesar? Do you want some Modern Warfare 3 today? You're still grinding that um, that interstellar camo by any chance, bro. Hopefully, your day's going good, though, man. Let's have a quick look. Let's just quickly go through here. Let's quickly just do that. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, jeez, man. These tigers just... These tigers are vicious. Oh, my God. Okay, right. Should be looking all good, though. Whispers. Okay. Um, check the ground for the Golden Cup. So, I think we've just found it, Alex. I think we've just found the Golden Cup, bro. What we're going to do at the moment is we're just going to lower these zombies down. And then, um, we'll be able to get this step done. Okay. Just quickly just do this real quick. Uh, taking a break, playing some BO3. Oh, I feel you there, man. Probably, probably for the best, I'd say, bro. I mean, there's ever so much that you can play of a game until you just get really tired of it. And you're like, ah, I'm not really feeling it right now, man, you know? I mean, it seems like, Zayd, you've gotten a lot done with Modern Warfare 3, bro. I mean, it really does seem like it. You grinded into Stella Amborellis once, and now, now you're doing it for a second time. It's respected, but uh, it definitely needed a break from that, as it seems, you know? I mean, I, I, I remember when I wanted to try and grind into Stella, mainly into Stella, not really um, Morales, because I just feel like playing zombies too much would just, I don't know, burn out. But um, even even Interstellar is quite a grind, dude. I mean, that's not easy, man. Okay, right. Oh, can we... Do we place it on here? I, I'm sure it's in one of these areas. Let's just lower down the zombie count real quick. Uh, let's just quickly go through here. Uh, not me. Someone report me. Follow my favorite stream. I got some pen. Got, uh, oh, my favorite stream got suspended. Jesus Christ. See, I mean... I do you find it a little bit silly when people, you know, start to report other people? I mean, if... I mean, obviously, with you, it seems like you've done nothing wrong and stuff. But it seems like, you know, you might have just done a bit of a mistake. Probably shouldn't have done that, you know? But, um... Even for them reporting, yeah, it's... I don't know. People would sometimes go that far of reporting you. It's crazy how far some people would go. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Some people go way too far with shit like that. Okay, right. I, I've had some weird encounters on kick. Actually, no, not some. I had one weird encounter, I say. It was definitely sus. Some guy wanted to add me on Discord and then said he was a stream coach. And I'm pretty sure he just wanted me to either go through his uh, course or whatever. Or I don't know. I mean, if it was a legit guy, then I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. Okay, right. Should be all good over there. Stream snipe, that's why. Oh, what? You got reported just for stream sniping? Okay, no. That, that shouldn't even be a report, like, right there. That shouldn't even be, um, like, classed for, like... You shouldn't get reported for stream sniping, especially if it's on a video game. Now, if it's in terms of, like, if... I don't know if stream sniping can be in both ways in video games and real life. Like, you know the person's real location. But if it's just for video games, I've like that's a little bit stupid, you know. In my opinion, personally, I know there's some people that get stream sniped constantly when they're playing online games, and so it just makes their experience on streaming really, really bad, you know. That's why. I would still say that's a bit of an unfair reason, in my opinion. I would say try and contact Twitch, um, Justin. Try and contact them. Or in fact, go over to Kick, man. I would, I would recommend going over to Kick, bro. <laughs> Kick, 
Yeah, no, they're, 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 they're competing against Twitch. I, I would probably just stream all, all platforms. I might, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. I don't know. Just try and get the name out there. Um, if you're, if you are trouble putting, if you have trouble putting in the, putting in the tree, just knife the tree and it should work. Right, there, let's have a look. I need to lower these guys down. Let's have a quick look, Alex. So, come on, oh, I need these guys to go away. Oh, oh, wait, there is it in there. Oh, okay. No, uh, is it? Let's have a quick look. No, it's still not in there. No, wait. I think it is. I could be completely wrong. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. We've just put it in there. And it shout out, shout out to Alex, though, for telling us the steps right there. I do appreciate Alex. Do appreciate it, bro. Hey, we got Cyan, though, coming to the stream as well as Joshy. Well, she dropping into the stream of Cyan says, Hola. Hey, welcome to the stream, Cyan. Pleasure to see you coming into the stream today, man. We want a bit of classic Black Ops 4 Zombies. We're just chilling. We're on the hardcore mode as well. On the map 9. And yeah, we're going to see if we could try and get a nice high round. Or just see how far we can go, you know. But glad to see you come to the stream sign. How is your Monday going today, man? Hope you're having a great Monday over there, bro. Pleasure to see you coming by. As well as Joshy. How are you doing today, man? Is that AG? You already know. <laughs> We're just on a bit of no at the moment, Josh. Glad to see you coming to the stream. Hopefully your Monday is going great with the start of the week, man. You know what I mean? Hopefully both of your legends doing great. I think we just got to end round, don't we? I'm pretty sure it's end round. I think it is. You know? What's up? Hey, it's been pretty good, I'd say, man. It's been pretty good for the day. Just been chilling. Um, yeah, just getting ready for the stream. Did a bit of BO4. We're doing a bit of BO4. It's been pretty good. I think tomorrow, though, we're going to be doing that map that you selected us. I'd say, Cyan. I think other people like Alex. Do you know the name by any chance of that map that you told us about? I've sadly forgotten. If you don't, then I should be able to look on the previous stream that you told me about. But tomorrow we'll be doing um, all the custom maps that you guys want, uh, I guess, us to play on the stream. All of us to play on the stream. Which should be kind of fun. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, that was close. That was close. Jesus Christ. Okay, Alexa says, I believe you need to go for a full round. Okay, that's all cool. This should be all good then. Full round, no problemo. Oh, I need to kill this guy first. Jeez. This guy needs to go down. If you guys are enjoying the stream, though, having a good time, feel free to hit the like and subscribe. I'll try and get a goal of, I'm going to say, 12 likes in the stream, guys. That'd be awesome to get up to. Um, by the way, what do people like the Zombies Easter eggs? Well, what do people like the Zombies Easter eggs? They were always annoying to me, um, especially the ones where you have to stay still. You mean um, Evil Dead map? I think it's that one, Simon. In fact, while you say that, I'm going to put that on. Uh, I'm going to put that on the side for Steam Workshop right now. Yes. It's Evil Dead, so I'll just quickly go on the community. But yeah, I mean, with Easter eggs, um, I don't know. Like, I guess some people really love the enjoy, uh, really love the challenge of like figuring out uh, a puzzle or figuring out symbols. You know, like for example, I don't know if you've ever done the Origins Easter egg. Everyone's done that one, but if you haven't, that's a good starter. I'd say, Cyan, getting into building the staffs, figuring out the puzzles, you know, it's it's a different experience, it, it's fun learning them, but I could understand where you're coming from, like, especially with standing still, for example, if you're doing it solo, I feel like one of the parts in terms of getting the power on, uh, getting pack a punch or power, I th no, yeah, for DE, was standing still on the pedestals, and I remember that would be kind of annoying doing it solo, evil dead, so I'll just quickly search that up, there we go, so I've got that on the side, I'll subscribe to that near the end of the stream. But yeah, that's the map that we're going to be. We're going to be doing Evil Dead. We're going to be doing the map that um, that Alex offered us out to. Um, and I believe... What's the other map name? I think there's going to be another one. Um, Frederick told us about one as well. So we're happy to do a bunch of them, guys. Okay, nice one. Not too bad so far. Pretty good. But yeah, I mean, with Easter eggs, there are some Easter eggs out there that are just, I don't know, a little bit too difficult for some people or i guess too frustrating for some people like you know you could, def could definitely see it like that you know josh this is i'm good bro you hey, i'm glad your day is going good josh yeah it's been a good day man just been chilling for the day got on ready for the stream happy to play some nine you know it's been a good day for sure man oh hopefully oh there we go right okay 
So that's looking pretty good. So I think... I think now we just have to go to the box, if I'm correct. And then we get the death of Orion. Which is pretty lit. You know? Um... Simon says puzzles and stuff make more sense in Left 4 Dead, but Call of uh, but COD is uh, COD is a uh, hard mode, not A to B campaign. Oh no, COD is hard. Oh, hard mode. I understand. Yeah, I I could see where you're coming from there. I mean, like a great example like this. You know, we're building up hordes. We're going through the rounds. You know, as high as we can get onto the rounds. That's like the main objective of, like. Mainly for zombies, you know? With, with some maps out there, like, I don't know, a good example for one map is like, uh, I don't know. Zetsubono Shima. Zetsubono Shima, Shima feels like a more of a tighter map where you can't really train in as much, if I'm correct. Not a bad map, don't get me wrong, but it seems like you have less training space on that map than anything. And that's more for Easter eggs. It would be great if a map like that had more East, uh, had more training space, you know? The Easter eggs were um, uh, with, with more card... I oh know, code made by blood... <laughs> nah, I feel you there, man. I mean, like, especially when you're trying to learn the Easter eggs, like when you're new to them, and you just don't understand a single thing. It's like, what the hell am I doing? You know? <laughs> it does take a little bit of time, like... I guess with Origins, everyone everyone's done Origins before. That's fun because everyone knows it, you know. But hopefully with, you know, I guess like with these newer ones, like BO4 Easter eggs I could see being kind of stressful. I think Blood of the Dead has one of the longest Easter eggs, if I'm correct. Hey, you already know, Josh. You already know, man, showing off the emoji. Hopefully things go pretty well. We should be all good this game. We should be all good. We're on hardcore mode as well, you know. Are we good? It adds storyline? I guess, yeah. You know, it adds it adds a story to the map. A bit like a campaign to the map, you know? Like, you look at, again, Origins, for example, you know? Like, if that never had a an Easter egg towards it, I think a lot of people would be, um... A lot of people would just see it as just a World War... World War One map, you know? Place the golden cup in the corner of the mystery box before you hit the box. Right, okay, that's what I was thinking, why... Why is it not showing? Okay, so we need to place it in the corner. Just gonna quickly kill this guy, these guys, real quick. Oh my god. Okay, but yeah, I guess that is one benefit. It does make a story for the game or for the map in general. Like God Crovey, you know, that story is quite the, the the Easter egg of that map is quite compelling. You know, once you complete it, Nikolai just gets absolutely, you know. Bozo ripped. Just kill. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, these guys are quite feisty, man. These guys do not joke around. We got a good amount of points as well, guys. So I don't know what other kind of wonder weapon we can get. It would be quite nice to get... Um, I think that's the last zombie as well. So that's all good. Um, I think Shadows of Evil did a great job with the uh, sacrifices because they were pretty obvious, but all the hidden stuff on Moon is absurd. Oh, you like the like the hacking device, or I guess don't you have to find a wire um, in the map and stuff like parts like that? Could definitely relate with you on Moon. I feel like Moon, especially with the anti gravity, it's what makes the map unique, but. I don't know, Fine Moon can be a clusterfuck at times, it really can be. <laughs> oh, man. I guess Moon, apparently Zetsubo is quite messy, but when we tried Zetsubo, it was actually quite smooth, you know? Oh, dead, uh, Deep Those says from Kick. Uh, Justin Those says from Kick, I do Easter eggs on BO3. I like Easter eggs, it's my, it's my favourite. Only BO3, though. My custom apps on BO3. Easter egg? Oh, that's pretty cool, I'd say, Justin. What, what would you say your favourite Easter egg is, though? You know, would you say it's Shadows? Would you say it's... Uh, Okay, there we go. Would you say, you know, it's Shards of Evil, the Ryzen Drac, um, you know, any of them kind of maps? I could see a lot of people saying God Crow is their favourite Easter egg. That one's quite, yeah, that one's quite cool. I think, uh, oh no, my bad, I already read that. Okay, right. Should be all good so far, guys. So we've actually just equipped the Death of Orion, guys. This is awesome. One of the, uh, Pretty cool uh, wonder weapon for this map, to be honest. Pretty cool wonder weapon for this map. So the main training spot we're going to go to, guys, is not going to be in the starting room. 
it's going to be in where you actually build the trap. We're going to train over there. Now, if, if I do remember, I think you need to train in there in a specific way, if I'm correct. Um... I'm just trying to remember and think. I think, yeah, you need to train there in a specific way. At the same time, you need to get a a, um, a gun with... Uh, what was it? I think it was Blast Furnace, if I'm correct. Yes, it was Blast Furnace. So we'll get that. What do you think? Um, would uh, What do you think? Would a full... What do you think? Uh, would a full COD Zombies game look like? Oh, see, man. I would say a full COD Zombies game would look something like... You know what? Bo4 had had some had some great. Uh, they had a, uh, a uh, how can I say a great opportunity in my opinion to become like a, an actual really good zombies game, like with with customization to what you you want your ga uh, game style to be like. You know, like you can change the health bar, you can change the game mode. You know, but for a, for a full on complete Call of Duty zombies game, no multiplayer. You know. No campaign, just zombies campaign. Um, I feel like it wouldn't just be high rounding, or like the objectives are just high rounding. It'll be Easter eggs. There'll be multiplayer zombie modes where you can, you know, like last man standing, things like that. And I think that'd be really cool for zombies. You know what I mean? Um, Alex says, "Why can't I see uh, just in message?" Ah, oh, it's on. It's on Kick as well, Alex. If you're interested, it's on Kick at the moment, bro. So Justin is on kick right now while I've got both chats on the side. I can see YouTube chat on the right and then kick chat on the left, which is kind of interesting, I'd say. Um, hey, we got Trick and Rizzo coming to the stream of Trick saying, uh, yo, what up? Hey, what is up, Trick? Glad to see you coming into the stream today, man. You already know, dude. Some classy Black Ops 4 zombies. Can't go wrong with a bit of BF4, I'd say, man. Pleasure to see you come to the stream, though, I'd say, um, Trick and Riz. How are both you guys doing with Riz says, what's good, AG? Hey, what is good as well, Riz? As well as E coming in, too. Hey, we've got three legends coming in. He's showing the emoji his middle name. You know what I mean? <laughs> How's, how is the goat doing today as well, man? How is E doing today with this Monday, Monday morning for you guys, Monday afternoon? Hopefully, you guys are all doing good. We're on a bit of a nine at the moment. Want some hardcore? We're gonna see if we can try and get a high round. The last time we did this, we went up to a nice, nice 50. So yeah, we're gonna get some things done. Stoned? Hey, you already know. You already know. Hell yeah, dude. Hopefully it's a chill, chill stone experience. You guys are having a good time for it, you know? I'm good, bro. Just playing some BO2 Origins right now. Hey, respect for that, man. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly, some BO2 Origins, especially the BO2 version. That's respectable right there. That the OG version, you know? Can't go wrong with a bit of Black Ops 2, man. There we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Still getting used to this map a little bit, guys. I think, like I said, the last time we did this, it was around seven months ago. So, you know, we're getting the hang of this a little bit more. But the more we play this, the more we're going to get used to this. Um, okay, nice one. Nice one. Rizzo says, doing pretty good. Other than that, it being a Monday, because of course, Mondays just suck. Damn, I feel you there, man. You know, a crappy Monday coming in. You've got a whole list of other days in front of you. You know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, I mean. You know, you got all these days for you, but nah, you've got this one. You got <laughs> Hell yeah. Alex says, K. Okay. Yeah, we're on. Don't, don't really expect much from Kick. Again, it, like, only reason. Obviously, main priority is just YouTube. Um, but uh, I just thought, like, you know, why not? If we've, if we've got the availability to... If we have... Yeah, if we've got the availability to stream on multiple platforms and it's for free, why not? Just give it a try. See what it's like. And if it helps us out, get more on YouTube, then that'd be awesome. I have linked my YouTube on Kick so people do see. Um... Uh, okay, right. Where do we need to go? Okay, right. Let's actually get a SMG. Let's get an SMG, I'd say, guys. Can we just go through here real quick? Nah, it's not the Maddox. We don't want to be getting the Maddox. We want to get the... There we go. We want to get the Scorpion on this way. It's called the Spitfire. I guess this thing loves to spit. Um, let's have a quick look, though. Trick this is I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I'm trying to get the first staff, but it keeps showing the wind crystal only, and the rest of the crystals won't allow up. Uh, w no, won't show up in the crazy place. What am I doing wrong? Ooh, um, trick. Have you found... Okay, right. 
this could be one of your issues have you found the disc um connecting to the crystals i think that could be one of the things i'm pretty sure it could be i could be wrong though if it's not showing up um ah oh, no do you know what it could be actually um so with each area of the tunnels so you know how you've got the um electric staff tunnel that's near stamina up you've got the wind staff tunnel which is near jug you've got the fire staff tunnel which is near the starting room so each tunnel that has its own um color let's say so uh, purple being the electric staff in order to get a crystal you need to in order to get the electric staff crystal you need to go down the electric staff tunnel and uh, that should give you the crystal i remember i found that a little bit difficult at first but yeah it, it the tunnels connect to what crystals you get you know so you've probably went down the if i'm correct down the windstaff tunnel i think you know i could be wrong yeah yeah you should have went down the windstaff tunnel in order to be able to see the windstaff crystal yeah it's a little bit confusing at first i, I remember i found it so confusing dude oh god these guys are gonna get in the way move give us our guns cryo freeze Ugh, we do not want to get no cryo cryo p oh i'm a dumbass i went to the wind stuff thought i know it's so cool honestly it happens at times dude it it does happen at times when when you think everyone everything's going smooth on the game you know and you think oh no I, you know I, I'm, I'm all set you know i've done this a lot of times and then then you realize oh damn i forgot that one thing damn it <laughs> does happen at times it's so cool um trick there are four discs and each disc have different crystals yeah it's pretty cool how origins did it you know it really is interesting how they did it in origins man right okay so i think we're looking all good we've just got to get two more things guys and that's just going to be victorious tortoise as well as um regain our shields health and then we should be all good we could even try and get the upgraded version of the shield which would actually be quite beneficial but i think they're uh, quite yeah beneficial for our rounds but i think the only issue for that is it's going to take time i don't know we, we could do that though we could give it a try but we haven't if i'm correct we need to find a couple of parts around this area so one of the parts let's have a quick look um where would one of the parts be for the shield for the shield upgrade if i'm correct we need to yeah find a couple of parts around here ah one of the parts would be over there in fact, let's have a quick look, guys. Let's have a quick look at this. Where is this so showing the death of my... <laughs> Bro, you saved my ass. I am happy I can help, man. How happy we could all help out, I'd say. But we got you, man. We got you. <laughs> let's just quickly open up a new tab real quick. Yeah, I mean, with Origins, even though it's like the oldest Easter egg, you can sometimes forget at times of what things you need to get done. You know? Shield upgrade for IX let's have a look come on hey, yo, what the hell shield upgrade for ix bo4 um trick though says bro it's been six years since i played origins thank you i tried finding a youtube video on it damn and even videos from youtube i guess i guess you know with the steps and stuff but it's good to see you coming back into origins man you know i guess like you know trying to learn it a little bit more you know it's always come good to come back to old maps man like the uh, fire disc in the church uh, the fire disc is in the church and the fire tunnel in between spawn and gen 3 so yeah even with that as well trick if you're trying to find the discs they're in different areas so near jug you'll be able to find the electric uh, the electric disc the, the purple disc the wind disc will be in the electro near stamina up the wind disc i'm pretty sure and the blue disc will be in tank station 2 which would be the gen uh, generator 2 i think oh really riz he says the regular shield is better in my opinion unless you're doing the easter egg so does it actually by any chance does it actually make the i don't know if it makes the health of the shield better or the damage i think the only reason i don't know if it would be helpful but the only reason i think it will be useful in some way is we're going to be training i'll show you right now we're going to be training in where's this area we're going to be training near one of the trap areas i don't know if you've done this strategy before riz but it's going to be this area here you go and um yeah if i'm correct we need to you know train it either clockwise or anti-clockwise use the traps over there 
I mean, you know what we could try and do? We could just try and go for the rounds, actually. Just to make this a little bit more entertaining, I'd say go for the rounds. I'm chillaxing, bro, nicely. Glad to hear your day's going good, man. Hell yeah, bro. How's the house moving in and stuff? Have you got a house ready? Anything like that, dude? Hopefully things are looking good for you, man. Time to get that fire staff. You already know. Time to get the old fire staff. Get that thing upgraded. Kill some panzers. You have to do different steps to upgrade the shield on AX. Yeah, if it, I don't really remember too much from it, but I think you have to find a couple of parts around the map, like... Um, what 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 i'm i'm sure the parts are something to do with like a like like a knight like a, like his helmet and then his sword and then his like chest plate if i'm correct and then you need to put them all together into one part i think i could be wrong though i could be completely wrong oh shit i need to get used to this I need to get used to this a little bit okay You're right hopefully things are looking pretty good though um uh, this strat is really slow, but kind of cool. Yeah, it, honestly, it's a pretty cool, neat little strat, I'd say, man. Pretty cool. I think someone, someone had shown me this strat, and yeah, just never played 9 before, and I was like, oh, you know, I'll give it a try, and I think we streamed it, and it went really well, but it did take quite a bit, I'd say, as you're right there, man. I think it took like four, 4 hours, 30 minutes to get up to 50, which was a crazy amount of time. I don't know if there's any other strats out there that's faster, but if there is, we'll definitely, we'll definitely give that a try, man. If there's any other strats out there. All right, okay, so that's the last zombie. Oh, no, is that not the last zombie? All right, let's just quickly just slow these guys down. What I want to try and do real quick is we just want to... Yeah, just slow these guys down a little bit. Just do that. Okay, right. We want to get... Uh, I think getting turned will be the best bet, actually. We'll actually get turned. I did it to my first... Uh, I did it to my first round, 109. And it took, like, what, eight hours? Switched to the ca uh, camping strat. And it took, like, six hours. Oh, with that strategy. I've seen that one where people do it. Where they're doing it on normal mode. And, yeah, that strat seems really fast, dude. I've seen people do that strategy. But they camp with the uh, the Helion. And it's, it seems really effective, dude. Like a very effective strategy, man. At the moment, we're on hardcore. I think because we're just practicing for this uh, for, for the Evan uh, Evans 5K tournament. It would be nice to do it on regular. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but now we gotta practice on hardcore. So we're gonna we have to do the more we have to do the training strategy. I think um nah that's for the free perk oh oh is it for the free perk ah oh. see that would be cool as well getting a free perk too because four perks are nice but imagine if you get like i don't know um let me just think uh bandolia bandit actually no that probably won't be the best um oh just any perk speed uh cook revive you know that'll make your health go up much faster or anything like that man ah oh, hell no dude Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm getting out of here. Okay, right. Things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good to plan. Oh. This douchebag's spinning his venom at me. Oh, no. Is he just... Oh, he's just got our shield, dude. No way. Spat on our shield. Right. You, you're dying. Get out of here. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, my God. Okay, nice and right. That was pretty good so far, guys. Not too bad. Oh, Trigdo says, um, I remember getting this one, Shotgun Gold, in 30 minutes on Advanced Warfare. Oh, if I'm correct on, on AW... The way that you could get gold, I think they tried doing a, a, a system where if you didn't want to, like, try and do all the grinding, you could just get gold without... With getting, I think it was 100 kills with no attachments, if I'm correct. Um, Advanced Warfare Camo Grind was way quicker. Yeah, the, the Camo Grind for AW, I, I remember it as well, man. Like, you could... I, I believe, anyway, you, you would be able to get 100 kills with no attachments. And you could just get gold right off the bat there. 
I, I think when I figured it out, like, yeah, it just, I, I think I got all the electric guns gold. Like, all, yeah, all the advanced guns gold and stuff, which was quite cool. But, yeah, honestly, AW is pretty crazy with the uh, camo grinds. I think it was all right, man. It wasn't bad. It was unique. Whoa! What the hell? Definitely, uh, uh, definitely, I'm tired of playing my, uh, of playing, of not playing my PC. Um, it was something last, uh, oh my bad, it was, uh, storming last night and my PC is in my trunk. I hope no water leaked, uh, onto my shit. I'll be less than happy. Damn, I, I, hopefully, nah, I, I think it should be all good here. I think it should be all good, man. Um, yeah, you, you should be all good, dude. I, Especially with the car trunk. I mean, it seems like you've got a stable car as well. Hey, Mr. Wildfire, come to the stream, says, what's up? Hey, what is up, Mr. Wildfire? Glad to see you come to the stream, man. W's and Chaffer Wildfire? Hell yeah. How are you doing today, man? We're just on a bit of Black Ops 4 Zombies on some 9. We're playing some hardcore modes. It's really good, but you start struggling with ammo in the mid-80s. Oh, for the, uh, for the camp strat, Riz. See, I think I've only been up to 50 for that, for, for, for that camp strat. But I guess for, yeah, past 50, when you're going up to like 80, I don't know, near 90s, I can really imagine it being a grind, you know? I mean, even camping, I'd say, it, it still camp, it's still going to be difficult because there's going to be zomb there's gonna be a lot of zombies coming through, you know? I don't know how, what's the highest some people have done on doing this strategy. I mean, this one's way longer. I don't know how long 100 would take for this strategy. I, Oh, no, I think you said it took you eight hours, which is actually really good, man. I guess because we're on hardcore, it's just going to take even long. <laughs> okay, right. Should be all good, though. Um, Also, the... Oh, my bad, mate. Also, the shields uh, gun is really good at killing. Oh, you know what? Yes, I'm actually going to take that in mind, actually, Riz. And you guys helping us out, giving us little tips and tricks is definitely going to get us further in this, you know? Do appreciate, guys. I think, yeah, the shield will be helpful. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa. Okay, nice one. Right, things looking pretty good so far. Let me just scratch my head real quick. Okay, right. Sion, though, says, sorry, I was gone for a few minutes. Hey, it's all cool. It's all cool, I'd say, Sion. Glad to see you back in the stream, though, man. Okay, right. Oh, God, my face. There we go. Yeah, so this is the main strategy we're going to be doing. I don't know if there's any of the strategies that's uh, better than this area. There might be. I feel like the starting room shot could be quite good, but the only issue is there's no traps. There's, there seems to be no traps, you know? Oh, my God. See, Victoria's Tortoise as well is going to be really good in this. So we want to be careful. We want to take note in using the shield much more. A bit like Riz says, you know, use the bullets on the shield. That's going to help out. It's going to save ammo as well. As you see there, you know, that's that's ammo saving right there. Okay, right. Well, like to ask though, guys, I guess like because we're playing BO4, what would you guys say your favourite BO4 map is? We'd love to, we'd love to hear you guys' uh, thoughts as well. I don't know, they got some cool maps out there. I feel like Alpha Omega look, Alpha Omega looks like a good map, but a lot of people don't seem to like it. Hey, we've got Strain though coming in. He says, um, uh, he says, uh, I train at spawn after everything is unlocked. Oh, okay, but I'm guessing for this map and stuff, Strain, that's respectable right there, man. Spawn's a good open area to train in, you know. You don't have much to worry about. I guess one thing you've got to worry about is the uh, the fire coming in. I mean, that could be a real challenge, you know? But, uh, my, I don't mean to miss you. I'd say uh, miss your messages, man. Hopefully your day's going good over there, though, bro. Oh, God. Okay, right. Let's just try and get a... There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, do, 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 do. oh my god, <laughs> jeez, whoa, <laughs> okay, oh no, tiger coming in, tiger coming in, oh man, this brings me back to when we first did this, 
This is awesome. Oh, we've even got Wraith Fires. Wraith Fires are going to be really helpful. Nice one. That's going to be blessed right there. Oh, Cyan though says, uh, anyways, I wanted to ask you for your opinion on Modern Warf uh, a modern card. I personally think that cards... COD's decline is because of the yearly releases. I think they should release a new COD every th three years, quality over quantity. I feel like that's a great, that's one of the great points I'd say you mark there, Sign, honestly, because that is one of the issues I'd say that is making them decline down. I mean, every year that they bring a new COD, by, by the time the new COD comes out and there's another new COD, People haven't even uh, completed doing their camo challenges or getting the mastery camo for the previous card that they bought. You know, a bit like Modern Warfare 3. People are still grinding out the camos on Modern Warfare 3. Um, and there's already been rumors about Gulf War coming out, which is kind of ridiculous. You know? Um, probably as well, like, I guess the engine is, I guess, cool. The engine that they've added that was from 2019 is cool and all. It's definitely an upgrade, but it's just being used, in my opinion, too many times, or... I don't know. If they were to go back to their previous engines, I feel like people might still complain about it and say it's just recycled. So there's not really a win-win at times. Um, But yeah, if they were to take a little bit of time with... With making their games, keeping... Not bringing the game out every year, because that's that that's what's gonna ruin, I'd say, their reputation, in my opinion. Like, by the time I don't know, Golf War comes out, what is next? I mean, surely there has to there has to be a break after that, you know? I is there gonna be a Ghosts two next? If there is, that's kind of eh. It's cool, but Trick though says uh, I go down. Uh... I got, uh, I got down on round 20. Hey, honestly, I'd say, man, if you give it a second try, you got this trick. Trust me, I know you got this, man. You know, with, especially with coming back to a map, uh, coming back to a map as well, can be a bit tricky at times, you know. Origins can be like that at times. They can. Be. <laughs> Have a quick look though. Sign though says, I think Ancient Evil is my favorite BF4 map. Love the music, Easter eggs, and the style of the map. See, I've heard a lot of people say Ancient Evil is a good map, man, with the gauntlets. I guess the style of it, a bit like you said. You know, I believe it isn't in like uh, the style of like Greek and stuff, which is pretty cool. Not is it Greek? Roman? Roman? Which is pretty cool, I'd say. Never really got to play uh never really never really played much any ancient evil before, but um it does look pretty cool, man. Wouldn't say it's my style, but it's it's interesting. What wouldn't say it's my full on style. I feel like again, I'm just more into them ether maps, you know. I feel like, I don't know, that Omega looks pretty cool, you know? Hey, AJL Media, but ja uh, it said, though, says, hey, mate, how's it going? It's Javi. He says, uh, you guess what? I downloaded Plutonium and it works. Hey, no way, Javi. That's awesome to hear, man. Hell yeah, dude. I guess have you played it now? You know, how, how, how was it going for you, man? That's awesome, I'd say, bro. Glad to see you come to the stream as well. That's a W right there. I think you're going to really enjoy playing some Plutonium. There's still a lot of people that play the game or play on Plutonium and stuff, man. You know, there's so much to explore on Pluto. I'd say in terms of joining servers, finding mates on there, you know. Hell yeah, that's a W right there, I'd say, Javi. Hell yeah, dude. Hopefully your day's going good as well. Hopefully you're having a great day over there as well over there, man. Okay, nice one. Right. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, right. We just got this. Throw that. Now, that's going to be a very effective right there. Shown there says, I want to be a four classified. And I got the Winter's Health first here. Hey, W box look like there from Strains. Come on. That's awesome, man. I don't know if it's hard to obtain the Winter's Health from Classified or if it's a bit like getting the Thunder Gun on Kino. You know, like, the Thunder Gun on Kino is not too hard to get. Or if it's like the, you know, getting like the wave gun from Moon where it's a bit more challenging. Um, let's have a look. Okay, right. If you guys are enjoying the stream and having a good time watching, feel free to hit the like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated for the channel's growth. Get us closer to 1.3k.
Oh, we can even use the traps. What am I doing? Oh, we got a nuke action. That's pretty good. Let's quickly go up to the snook real quick. Um, the main problem with modern card is uh, is is the fear of the development team. Oh, I'm guessing they just. I guess I don't know if it's in case of like they're just being overworked and stuff. Whoa, they're just being overworked and stuff. I don't know if it's that. Uh, if that is the case, though, I mean. That is probably one thing, you know, as soon as <coughs> one COD comes out, you know, not even a year later, probably, you know, like the next five months later, they're already addressing a new card release. That could be it. John there says, and yes, you can also get a free Winter's Howl um, on Classifieds. Really? It's, I actually never knew that. I'm guessing it's like an Easter egg except you have to do, you know? Not sure, uh, not sure if I should release a short with Glitching Queen laughing at soundboard I was playing. Oh, um, hmm. I'd say if you looked at any other parts, Brayden, with that involved Glitching Queen, um, like, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Some of the steps we did, you know, or I guess they did. <laughs> Some of the steps they did, because we none of us really know what we was doing and stuff at the time, but. Is there any parts, you know? I would I would recommend doing that, though, Brian, because that, I mean, that should, yeah, that should be really good, I'd say. You know what I mean? Is there any other parts that you've found? Keep that part, though, just in case. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. He says, liar. <laughs> faker, faker. <laughs> nah, it's all cool. I think he's just playing around. Joe says, believe me now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's Javi. It's Javi, guys. <laughs> so it says, what's your favorite music? Easter egg. Mine is probably um, Carry On. Uh, oh, no. Carry On from Transit. It, um, dislike the map, but the song is amazing. Ooh, see, if it comes in like Easter egg songs, I don't know, man. I, I'm not really too much of an Easter egg song kind of guy, but I'm not going to lie. Lullaby for a... What is it? It's Yeah, it's Lullaby for a Dead Man one. I don't really know the name, but uh, I've heard that song before, and it slaps, dude. You know, the start of it was like, dee, 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 dee. you know, that one's pretty good. If not, it would be Shepherd of Fire from Origins. Origins. Oh, God. From Origins, you know. I think I've heard the transit one, though, Cyan. And uh, that has more of a rock, heavy rock kind of um, vibe to it, if I'm correct, which is quite nice, you know. Definitely vibe with that. Do do like the classic BO1 um, Easter egg songs. Like, I think there's one for Call of the Dead, if I'm correct. Which is more of like a heavy kind of rock, which is quite heavy. Quite nice, you know. Uh, let's have a quick look, though. He says, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shano says, and yes, you can also get a free Wonder Weapon on a classified here in the box as well. I actually never knew that. I thought, it, like... I know with BO4, they're, at the back, they're actually still finding out that you can, uh, like, quite recently, you can actually get uh, some free perks on some maps. I think there was one found out on Dead of the Night about a year ago, which is quite crazy. That was that was a year ago for BO4, which is insane. All right, I'm not, I'm not messing around here. I'm not messing around. Not going to mess around with that. Right, let's have a quick look, though. Either of this says, uh, Brayden, do, do what you want to do. I guess, yeah, like, don't, definitely don't feel like, oh, this might not go well. You know, give it a try, and if it doesn't do the best, you know, you could try and, like, I guess, re-upload it, like, delete it, re-edit re it, anything like that, you know? So I, uh, can I drop the link uh, to get it up? And yeah, sure, no problem, Brian. Honestly, no problem. Thank you for asking as well. No problem, though, man. All cool. Okay, right. Should be all good there. Not too bad. Um, it's a full Easter egg as you get a trophy or achievement. Ah, okay, that's pretty cool. Some trophies. I don't, I don't know what the BO4 trophies were like, to be honest. I know BO, BO3 trophies were quite a grind, apparently, anyway. The multiplayer, campaign, zombies, which is quite quite a strenuous grind. Uh, let's quickly just go through here real quick. Let's quickly just drive through here. And we've got another gladiator bastard coming after us. Get out of here. Let's just quickly... Right, there we go. Um, oh, my... Uh, oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell, bloody hell. I don't know how people can read chat while playing. I'm trying to get used to it, but um, it's just... I don't know. It's difficult. It's hard. Okay, right. Oh, 
do 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 We got another thing. Bum bum bum. There we go. Chino says it's a full Easter egg as you get trophy issue from it. Chino says, come coming home uh, from a moon is also amazing. Oh, coming home. Moon, if I'm correct, had a pretty badass kind of rock style to it. You know? Dude, Moon's Easter egg was insane though. Like you literally blew up the earth and then you would go you could go back to Area 51. <laughs> and um just see like i guess yeah it just everything in rubbles and stuff meteorites dropping down that was cool though i think that was a cool thing that they added for a moon you know i don't know if you guys would would agree with this but i don't know what would you guys say moon was probably the first of the first in terms of bringing a different style of easter egg i don't know i don't know if origins probably was because it, it brought in the cutscene and everything like that which was quite interesting you know? Oh, we almost went into that trap, dudes. Whoa. And our shield is almost broken. Okay, right. Let's quickly just go through here real quick. Um, da -da 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 yeah, sound all the time. Sound this is Braden. Um, time lots of people talk about it. Activision is the greediest company in 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 the gaming in uh, gaming scene, and I'm surprised nobody talks about uh, nobody talks more about it. I'd say that there's every ah, sometimes like you know when we just channel stuff, we don't really talk about it. But when it normally gets brought up, it, it's a good conversation to have about because I mean, it's, it's sometimes good to criticize about not even criticize, but just talk about some of the issues with cards. One of the main issues I'd say like. 100% is definitely Activision. I mean, they're the ones that just fucked everything up in terms of the transactions, supply drops. I mean, I don't know if they do the plans in terms of what game mode to bring out. Like, if they're the ones that decide to do three war zones. If that wasn't their choice, then whoever's choice that was, eh, I feel like Warzone 2 would do, you know. Not three war zones. Warzone three is I feel like definitely dying down. Warzone one was the highest peak, but yeah, no. If we're talking about Activision in general, they're they're, they're shy. I don't know. You got to think what they're thinking because like I don't know who's like the CEO. I don't know if it's still Bobby Kotick or Bobby Kotick still being the CEO of Activision. But um, you just got to think what he's thinking. Like, he, pro he definitely knows that a lot of people don't like, don't agree with what he's doing with the games he's in control with in terms of transactions and shit like that. But he, he must just not care. Mountain Dew is my mouth, uh, is my mouthwash for the morning. And Dorito is my, uh, is my man. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah you know, I say Mountain Dew is a good refreshment, you know, keeps the teeth clean, shiny, and plus, you know, gives you that boost, you know? And, uh, oh, you can't go wrong with Doritos. Now, which Doritos, I'd say, Javi? Is it cheesy Doritos, tangy cheese? Is it flaming hot, you know? Or are you classy? Is it, is it the cool flavor? Which kind of flavor are we talking? Oh, get out of there. Whoa, okay, 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 okie dokie. Oh my god. Okay, right. That's a little bit too close right there, though. Ooh. Okay. Um. Gross, Charlie. <laughs> Dude, that, that is just the the ultimate uh, Raider. Maybe we could uh, play on Pluto sometime. Let me know what you guys think. If I made. Uh, let's have a look at it as well. Let's have a look at it as well. I love the audio. <laughs> you've got the... <laughs> you've got Dempsey just smoking the cigar there. <laughs> oh, man. I would say it makes 100% for Dempsey smoking the cigar. That that That's the best thing right there, I'd say. <laughs> Dempsey smoking. Okay, right. Should be all good now. Oh, we got that. Brain rot. Not too bad. Ah, oh, hell no, dude. I'm not even going to mess with that. Get out of there. No, you're not hitting me. Yes. Zip power. 
Nice nuke. We got that. So that says, still have to see a good example of CEO. Uh, that isn't a complete psychia. <laughs> so, no, uh, sociopath. It seems like it. I mean, you gotta, you gotta think what they think, dude. I mean, like, I guess, I don't know if it's just money being over their heads. They just think, like, make as much money and don't think, don't think about what could be the best outcome for people that are buying our game. You know? They do make some pretty stupid decisions. Like, I guess one decision they made good, I think it was because it was, uh, loot crate started to become illegal, I think, in some countries, and that's why they stopped it. But they stopped the whole supply drop thing, which was pretty good. But they're now doing all these bundles, and in, in terms of getting these bundles, you know, you get put into easier lobbies, apparently, which is just kind of crazy. It's like, what? I feel like COD could be really good, man. I mean, it, it it is a good game. Like, Modern Warfare 3 is all... Like, it, it is it is fun. It does... Uh, if it feel, it doesn't feel that much different from Modern Warfare 2, because it literally is Modern Warfare 2 in some in, in a big way, you know? Guys, also, I'm not joking. Uh, I downloaded the Plutonium on my laptop. Oh, no. On my school laptop. No way. It actually runs, dude. That's insane. You must actually have a pretty good school laptop right there, Jarvie. I'm not going to lie, man. I tried using my little stream laptop, and the thing did just uh, the thing just crashed, you know? Activision is not that bad. <laughs> I guess, like, if you look at other, like, problems, like, just in general, they're just, they're, they're just some company that just... I guess I guess we're part of the issue because we always buy their games, you know. I feel like if we were to now, yeah, if we were to try and uh, what is it boycott them, where uh, none of us buy their games, then that's when they'll be all nice, you know. Well, that's when they'll be like, ah, oh, you wanted to see uh, a remake of this map? Here you go. You want to see more zombies? Here you go. Because um, it's just it's just all of us buying our, buying their games. Now a quick run on to those says Activision is in the spotlight. They produce a lot of AAA games. There are developers who stay in the beta phase forever and milk their players um, with microtransactions. Yeah, yeah, it literally uh, basically just said it right there. I mean, there are, that's one of the main things, you know, there are, I guess people, there is, like, I guess there are a lot of other people in this stream that probably don't buy all the new cars. I mean, if I'm going to be honest, I've started buying all the new cars recently. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, Modern War... I think it was... Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and then I'm going to buy the next one. So that's on my bad, you know? But that, but yet, I still complain about it. So I'm being a bit hypocritical if I think about it there. But yeah, you know? Fuck it. Activision sucks, but still buy that game. <laughs> <laughs> well, delete all your school stuff and install BO1. Dude, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't think I I, I don't uh, 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 I don't think we can actually use that trap. There's so many gladiators where we just can't use the trap, guys. It's just impossible, you know. Is there any turn zombies? Oh there are, are there? I don't think there is. So I think we're gonna we're gonna start pack a punch in the Death Orion very shortly, guys. We're just gonna kill these gladiator guys. We're just gonna kill these gladiators. Nice one. Things are looking down to plan. Oh, we just want to be careful. There we go. Okay, nice one. Um, Java though says. I have an idea. I have one broken school laptop and one working school laptop. When it's time to give it back, I give them the broken one. Oh, okay. You're thinking smart, here, but a little bit dangerous, though. You know what I mean? You don't want to... I wouldn't recommend doing that, I'd say, Jami, you know? <laughs> Just in case. Don't want to get you into trouble, I'd say, but... Uh... Oh, I can't. <laughs> you never know. They They might never know. They might never know, but... You know, just for the safety. Wouldn't recommend that. You know, that would be uh, theft right there. It would be theft. <laughs> There's so many zombies, dude. Wow. Oh, my God. Whoa, calm down, calm down. Oh, God, okay. 
So I've just realized there's a little bit of a glitch. Not a glitch, but a little bit of an error that we can't cross, and it's this area. Oh, okay, now we can go over it. We just talked about it. All right, let's just quickly just do this. Let's have a quick look, though. Maybe the zombies that are coming to the stream says BO3 is acting strange for me. It gets stutters, but BO4 doesn't. They are both on the uh, uh, on the max textures. Oh, for is this for PC Nebula? Uh, let me just see how I can help out. I'd say, man, um, because BO3 does it for me, and BO4 does it as well. Especially if you have it on max texture, uh, max textures. I think even low textures too. If you load into different modes like zombies or multiplayer, it has that little pause. If you know what I mean, where it stops and freezes. But if it's not that, try and check your FPS, bro. See if it could be that, you know. And um, we got Sha uh, Shaquila Oatmeal, uh, Oatmeal that comes to the stream saying hi. Welcome to the stream as well, Sha uh, Shaquila. Glad to see you come to the stream, I'd say. It's on a bit of Black Ops 4 Zombies. And uh, we're playing on Hardcore on the map 9. Let's see if we can try and get a high round. But um, how are you doing, Sad to say, uh, Shaquila? Hope you're having a great day over there. Doc Commander is welcome to the stream, says, more practice for the tourney. I would give a couple of recommendations for the free perk Easter egg and the trials for a free perk and no fire damage Easter egg. Really? Ooh. And the upgrade shield Easter egg. See, we was going to do them, but um, I think Riz had said, you know, I think the upgraded shield doesn't really do that much of a benefit. But I'd say, Doc Commander... If you would recommend it, we could definitely give it a try. The more we learn, the more we can get better at this tournament, you know? And the less we don't have to have, um... Yeah, round one death or whatever like that, you know? Yeah, Alex, you're part of... Yeah. Yes, Alex, you're part of the, the problem. Wait, what? Wait, who? Where's Alex? I can't see. <laughs> Let's have a quick look, though. Um, Java, though, says they won't... They won't know, bro. My school is so is so low secured. Oh, well, I wouldn't recommend it, but all the power to you, man. I wouldn't recommend all the power to you. You know what I mean? Um, having a strawberry milkshake. Nice one. Good old strawberry milkshake right there. That's pretty good. Well, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Right. We should be all good so far. Round 28 right now. Okay. Um, should we pack a punch? I don't really know. No, we don't need to pack a punch at the moment. Doug Mano says the upgrade. Oh shit. Uh the upgrade absurdo isn't that important. But no fire damage Easter egg is really important, in my opinion. Where did absurdo come from? Absurdo? Absurdo? I have no idea. If do you know the steps for it? I'd say Dog Commander, you know the steps for it? It's an April. At least that's what she said. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'd say oh yeah, dude. In April? Hey, W I right there for going on a date, man. Wish the best of luck to you as well, I'd say, Shaquila. Best of luck to you, man. Okay, um, Java though, showing the evil emoji. Nah, basically, uh, you know, you're probably going to bring it in, right? And they're probably, I, I don't know if you guys have a reception, but in my school, we had a reception, you know? You know what? You, you'll probably do things like that, you know what I mean? I remember, um, I, you know, I remember I stole a pair of, uh, shoes, right? Because. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I stole a pair of shoes. And they were Nike Air Force ones white. And I would... Th th there was in this PE bag, right? This is actually a pretty... Cr not even a crazy story, just a funny story. Just to have a laugh. And yeah, I ended up stealing these shoes. And they turned out to be girl's shoes. But uh, for some reason, I thought I could sell these. And while searching in this bag... I, I, again, it was stupid. I was... How old was I? I think I was like... 14, 15. Um, I end up, <laughs> I found a, I found some money in there. And then, um, again, it was really bad of me. Okay, and this prop makes me sound like an actual asshole, but I was, yeah, just stupid. But yeah, I ended up finding about 40, 50 pound in there. And then I found a pair of shit stain uh, pants, which I luckily did not pick up, but it was disgusting. And then I ended up getting caught. They took the shoes away. But they didn't take the money away. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Because if you do get caught, then you'll probably get transferred to another school or something like that. And that's what happened to me. And it was really awkward. Um, I don't know why I said that story. That's probably a bit... My bad. Um, 
Nebido says, in my opinion, when it comes to optimization, BO3 is the worst because there should be an option to turn shadows off. Oh, really? There's actually no option to turn off the shadows and stuff like that. I, I generally never knew that. If, let me see. Oh, okay, yeah, and you're on the PC version, you said, Nebula. Um, hmm. Let me just see if I can try and help you out. Could it be, I don't know if, I might have already asked this, but I would recommend if you haven't done this before, check your FPS, bro. See if that could be it because I think someone else had an issue with, um, with bo3 or a game i think it was bo2 and it's because their fps was really low uh and it would it, it, the game just i think it was the game was bottlenecked uh, bottlenecking uh so with the acid trap says dog commander you need to kill every catalyst and a tiger uh then slide under the blade and take no damage and the acid trap with no damage oh okay so you need to kill different catalyst types and i'm guessing you pick up a part with um i guess you pick up a part uh, that will then correlate to you know getting uh this little part of the easter egg done if i'm correct what I'll probably do, I'd say, Document, I'll, I'll probably leave it, I'd say, for this stream. It's, I think next stream we're going to be doing this on, we'll we'll do a next stream on either on Voyage or this map again. I'll have a look into it, or if we say die this game, then we'll focus on getting that Easter egg done. At the moment, we're on round 29, which is pretty good. We've gotten some good things done right now. Um, I realise the key is to act uh, indifferent, uh, act indifferent, and just uh, to be your own person. And uh, that you are what's worth it i can't read today and they have to earn it ah again i yeah i i don't really know i i don't really know yeah it's one of them you know? <laughs> nah I, I don't know i i've never searched before um you know i don't know if tinder works you know nah that's crazy shit stained pants dude yeah so the only reason how I figured this out, right, again, I was searching through the bag. You know, I had Nike white Air Force Ones. I, I, I was like, I'm not going to wear girl shoes, but hey, I don't know. Desperate. You know what I mean? Thought I could probably sell them for some money. Because, um, yeah, I was, I don't know, a little bit stupid then. I think I had a pair of Nike Air Force 97s. <laughs> and um, I mean, my other mates did it at school and stuff, but. Yeah, and then slam behold, pick up these things and these shit, shit, shit stained knickers. But I, I pinched them. I pinched them. Obviously, I didn't touch the shit. That would have been disgusting. But yeah, and you know the craziest thing is, it showed how much of a wimp I was. I was uh, when I was able to go back to my previous school. I got confronted by that girl, and my face was red, dude. I was, I just, you know, like where. Yeah, I just walked away in silence, and they followed me. Nearly, they almost followed me to where my dad would pick me up. And if that would have been the case, that would have been mega embarrassing. But yeah, embarrassing. Lol, karma, AG, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the best thing. There's another story, though, after, like, after getting into trouble there, when being transported to the other school, I think I was there for about, I think, a month or two weeks. Uh, I met someone, and, um... They did something really weird as well. They ended up... Someone decided to take a crap in one of the... Um, I don't know. This is a whole different story. But when being transported to the different school, um, there used to be a toilet for... Just for everyone to use. And um, I ended up going to this toilet one time. And uh, yeah, someone had ending, it ended up taking a crap in one of the uh, toilet... To to uh, toilet scrubber holder things, you know? And I ended up being the person that was in the same room as I was when we was both suspended or brought into another school, yeah? It was really weird. I don't know why they would have done that, but yeah. I don't know. It was weird. Um, oh, God, my eyes, my face. <sighs> ah! Let's have a look, though. Uh, Rune says, says, my video is public now. Uh, can I share it in the link? Actually, yeah, sure, no problem, nonsense. More than up if you'd share it in the chat. Oh my bad, that sounded a voice crack there. <laughs> but yeah, no problem, nonsense. I got you, man. I got you. Okay, there we go. Get some nice old head shorts. But yeah, that story though. Never they they never ended up searching my uh, my trousers behind my school trousers. 
because I had the money in my tracky trousers, which was under my school trousers, which was pretty funny. They mentioned <laughs> they mentioned about money being stolen, but they said it was a uh, Spanish money, and I was like, uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't have money on me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Thanks, no problem, man. I got you, bro. I got you. But yeah, school was quite fun. I mean, school was boring as well. Had some funny moments in there. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have any funny moments over at school. I don't know. Or over when you guys were, went, did go to school. But yeah. Okay, right. Right, round 30 so far, guys. Looking pretty good. Oh, I've just seen we're pretty low on uh, we're pretty low on ammo at the moment. Um, for the Def Orion, I think we should be okay. We should be looking into an okay situation at the moment. Um, yeah, we should be all good. We should be all good, guys. I think anyway. Oh my God! Whoa! Shut out. Right, let me just get out this thing. Okay, nice one. Right, so around 30 so far, guys. I think we're going to try and pack a bunch of Death of Ryan a little bit later on. Um, okay, nice one. That's pretty good so far. Oh, that was very, very close. Jesus. That was way too close, dude. We need to get, uh, we need to get the Wonder Weapon. Pack a bunch because this thing's gonna break soon. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Check it. Um, let's check it out. Though says I saw AG has. Uh, he's so handsome. <laughs> oh, I do appreciate. <laughs> nah, I'd say Braden's the man right there. You know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I do appreciate it, guys. Do appreciate it. Okay, round 30 so far. Pretty good. I'm hoping we could try and get up to a 50, I'd say. That'd be quite nice. Not too bad. We've got a brain roll right there. For a nice uh, lethal. Oh, insta-kill. That's going to be even better. We even have less ammo on this bloody gun. We need to get this thing all... Oh, shit. Okay, we need to get that thing all packed. Let's just quickly just get the ammo for this thing. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Nice one. Not too bad so far. Hey, Mr. King Trey, though, coming to the stream, says, Sup, man. Welcome to the stream, Mr. King Trey. Glad to see you coming into today's stream, man. Hell yeah, dude. You came into the right time. We're just on some Black Ops 4 zombies. And we're, uh... Yeah, we're just on some 9 at the moment. We're playing hardcore at the moment, if you're interested, bro. We're getting ready for the Evan 5K tournament, I'd say. But how are you doing today, Trey? Hopefully your day's going great over there, man. I'm curious to see if we are... Uh... Bro, you need to check out the short. Uh, check out the one short I did. It's actually jokes. I'll have to have a look at it. If you send it in the Discord, Trey, I'll have to, I'll have to look at it and stuff, man. See what it's like and stuff, bro. Ah, uh, nice run. You got going on here? Yeah, it's going pretty good, I'd say, man. It's going pretty well. Things are going according to plan. Hey, Trey, and we got Trey in the chat. W right there, man. Is it going to be a dog round or a max ammo round next or not? Let's have a quick look. Okay, no, I don't think it is. Right. This is where it is. Ah, damn it. Okay, that's all cool. That's all cool. Well, at least we've got a pack of punched or a death of Ryan, you know? Sup, Shaquille? How we've got everyone in the chat. Hopefully, all you guys are enjoying it. Let's see the main like go for the stream, though, guys. Um, oh God, fifteen likes in the stream. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate it. I'm gonna update the uh, the number count of people in the stream so I can actually see it and the like count. I gotta. In fact, I just want to check this out and I'll see if I can sort it out now. I don't know why it's not showing the thumbnail. I've gotta re-update that real quick. I don't know why it's not showing my thumbnail. That's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. <sighs> okay, right. Let me go in here real quick. Just going to quickly sort this out real quick, guys. Uh, let me just quickly just go into change. 
change and then da, 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 da. let me just quickly do oh can i not okay um xi come on i gotta be fast with this um there we go save that yep 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 nice right is it gonna work right okay let me just pop out chat let me see if this works better See, it doesn't show me how many people are watching, which is kind of annoying. Um, hmm. Does it say anything? It doesn't. But it, that does move out the way for that, which is kind of good. Um, yeah, let's just put this chat in the wave actually over there. All right, that's probably much better now. All right, I can see that much better now. But I still can't see my view count, which is kind of annoying. Okay. Um, Australian says brains. Oh, yeah, Shane. <laughs> Already knows, dude. Getting some brains. We're killing them. Try this, as I'm pretty sure. Uh, I send it at the same time with the channel promotion. You should be able to see it uh, there, but if you don't, I can send it to you in DMs if you want. Yeah, sure, send it through DMs if you want to say, uh, Trey, I'd love to have a look at it, man. Yeah, send it through DMs if you're able to. I need to check out the channel promotion much more. I've been wanting to check it out more and um, put like the like the little fire emoji next to them to show that I've checked them out and stuff. Oh, God. Right, okay. Shane there says, bro, um, my wrist is killing again. When when this happens, I can lift. For, I can't lift for two weeks. Really? Jesus Christ, man. Have you have you tried looking at the doctor's strain to see if you might have like any early signs of arthritis or anything like that, dude? That could be. I mean, hopefully it's not arthritis, but you know, always good to check beforehand, man. Hey, Trey, how are you? And hopefully everyone's doing good over there. Having a good day. Chilling and killing. Right, okay. Things are looking pretty good. Doing pretty good, I'd say. It'd be really interesting to see, like, what hardcore would be like on the maps. Uh, Ancient Evil or Blood of the Dead. I feel like Blood of the Dead might be the hardest one, I would guess anyway, because you don't really have, like, I don't know. I personally feel like Blood will be the hardest map to do for this tournament the one that evan uh, is holding and stuff but who knows who knows okay i don't think that's the smartest of ideas okay nice that does kill them all though which is good let's quickly just get this thing all all healed up nice one oh get out of it dude Ah uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not falling that trap again. Nice one. Okay, right. Let's quickly just keep running through here. Right. Jenny says, "Uh, it's corporal tunnel syndrome." Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I don't know what that is, though, Shane. But I, you know, if it is anything, uh, you know, that just basically affects your wrist in any kind of way hopefully it's not too major man you know everyone's got some issues if it's anything like that but hopefully it does if it is, hopefully it does get better you know what i mean hopefully it does get better man nice one want to throw that have a quick look though uh alex though says i'm good trey uh who did you voice act in evan's video that he's planning to release oh actually yeah kind of curious for that yeah i'm pretty sure it was nikolai if i'm correct but i don't know i personally wouldn't know i think evan said it was nikolai but i could be wrong could be completely wrong here Oh, Ooh, 
Okay, now it's not so good. <laughs> okay, got to be careful of that. Nice one. Pretty good stuff right there. Okay, things are going quite well. Okay, nice. All right, we can throw some of these down. Nice one. Right, okay. Not too bad. Hey, Callum, though, coming to the stream, says Easy Dub. Hey, welcome in, Callum. Glad to see you coming to the stream, man. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly, we're still getting used to this map, but things are going really clean so far. But pleasure to see you coming to the stream, Callum. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, it's on a bit of BF4 for today's stream. Just chilling. Seeing how far we can go on some hardcore mode. You know, but um, how are you doing today, man? Are you doing a stream later on today, Callum? Have you got any stream ideas for later on today? Thanks, SK. Uh, Shreno says, unfortunately, when it happens quite often, it's permanent. Ah, oh, again, I'm sorry to hear that, Stray man. You know? That doesn't sound too good, but... You know, the best thing is just, I don't know. There's always a... Uh, yeah, ways to just bypass it and stuff of enjoying your life. Hey, we even got Jordan, though, coming to the stream. Says, yo, ho. <laughs> Glad to see you coming to the stream as well, Jordan. Hell yeah, dude. We're on a bit of BO4 right now. We're chilling, doing some hardcore mode, you know? How are you doing today, John? What, what, have, you, what have you been up to today, man? You're at work? You finished work? Nice one, not too bad. But yeah, glad to see you come to the stream, John. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not too bad. Let's just quickly just go through here. Oh my god. Okay. Nice one. Nice one. Oh god. Oh my god, okay, that was way too close. Uh, be working and cleaning. Uh, new whip in it. Oh, nice one, dude. Yeah, I've seen it, man. An all an all black Ford. What is it? Um Oh shit. An all black uh is it not Ford Focus, right? I could be right. I don't really know my na car's names. I'm sure it's a not a Ford KA. <laughs> oh no, oh no. I'm just gonna pop this real quick. Get out of the way. It's a Ford Focus, if I'm correct, Jordan, right? In fact, let's just go through here. Nice, we've got Brain right over there. Uh, just a quick drive by. Okay, that's pretty cool, Callum. Got to go editing at the moment and getting distracted. Not sure uh, on a stream layer later. We might do. Okay, that's pretty cool, Callum. Honestly, if you guys do a stream, we'll be happy to drop by, see what's crack and lacking, you know? BW Golf uh, GT fam. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's, that's pretty good, though, man. Hell yeah, dude. It would be nice to get a car, man. Would be nice. How much did it cost for you, John? Did you say it was 11,000 or... How are you, John? Imagine calling a uh, meme as meme. <laughs> oh, I've heard... I've, I've, I'm sure I've heard someone say that before. A me... A meme -y Or a meme <laughs> Someone... I think I've heard someone say that before. Okay, nice one. That's pretty good. Yep. Whoa, we want to be careful, I'd say. Oh, my God. Oh, this guy's still here, dude. Oh, my God. Right, let's just throw this real quick over here. Oh, my God.
Don't know what I was doing there, but I just thought it'd be a smarter idea just to sit there and stuff. Let's go through here again. Uh, yeah, let's just open up this door, just in case. Uh, let's have a quick look, though. Um, 10k for it. See, that's not bad right there, man. That's, that's a good price, dude. You know, 10k for it. It's pronounced meme. Meme. I'm sure I've heard someone call a meme a meme or, or oh shit. Oh god, I'm, I'm getting distracted over here. Yeah, I'm sure I've heard someone say that before with memes or meme. Okay, right, let's so just go through here real quick. Shit. Okay, right. Should be all good so far. Nice one. <coughs> right, just I. Uh, yeah, these are the, this is when the round starts to really decline down at times. I don't know what would be another way to. Oh, I don't know what would be another way to kill zombies fast. I mean, traps would be good. Um, I just don't really know. We could probably use Temporal Gift, which would help out. Oh, okay, nice. We just got a dog round, or a max ammo round. Come on. Where are these guys? Um, they're around here. Oh, here they go. Oh, chill up, chill up. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, I want to be careful with that guy. <laughs> oh, nice one. That kills him. That kills him real fast. Right, I just want to go through again. Oh, we got another gladiator. Okay, whoa, chill out, buddy. There we go. Not too bad so far, guys. If you guys are enjoying the stream, having a good time, I'd recommend hitting the like and subscribe. We're getting so close. We're getting closer to 1.3k. It would be great for us to see us get that goal, I'd say, guys. Nice one. Oh, no, I had a feeling they would come by. Hell no. Shoot. Okay, well, what do I do here? I have no clue on what to do at the moment. Um, You know what? No, we do, we do have an idea of what to do. Let's see. Where's this Blight Father? Oh, damn. Did they actually just die? I think they died. You know what? No way. That... That Wraith Fire just killed the Blight Father that fast. That's insane. Wait, that can't have been. He did as well. No way. Oh, uh, no, no. He just glitched out, I think. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> we didn't have to put it with him that time. That's good then. Oh, that was close. Renonsense though says, um, I think uh, I think a lawnmower is the quickest way to kill zombies. Oh, like a lawn. Like, imagine if you were to, I don't know, mix a lawnmower. Like, I don't know, put the blades of a lawnmower onto like a metal pole. I don't know, like, you know, <laughs> use it like a, I don't know, a weapon and stuff to to fight back zombies. That would be, that would be a creative tool, a tool right there. Or a combine harvester? Oh my god, that would literally shred through them, dude. I think a lawnmower 
or I see what else would be a great what would be a good zombies weapon you know not like a like I don't know like a an actual weapon a bit like you said probably like a lawnmower but like rather than having the whole lawnmower body just having the the engine and the blade but connected to a pole or something like that that would be kind of cool Nice one. Right, okay. <clears throat> oh, that was close, dude. That was very, very close. Oh, we can put the trap back on, guys. That's quite nice. That's, that is pretty neat right there. Um, Hell yeah. Let's get this trap on. Nice, just in time. But yeah, there, there, there'll be some cool ideas for what kind of wonder weapons. That would, a lot of the wonder weapons, like, you know, I guess weapons you could make and stuff for killing zombies. I don't know if a blowtorch would be effective. Probably not the most effective thing, but it could be... It could do some harm. Just cook their skin and stuff, you know? <laughs> um... A lawnmower um, on a shield so you don't get dirty. Dude, see, that would be something actually really cool and nonsense. Like, imagine if they were to bring that to, like, a, a game. Like, you get a shield, and around it, you got, like, a lawnmower blade just spinning, you know? You can just push against them like this. <laughs> that would be actually really cool, dude. Good idea, man. Or, like, um... I've seen in some video games, like, you have a bat on. I think, it's, I think it's in Dying Light. You have like a baton, a police baton, and then uh, you, you put batteries around it or something like that, and you can make it like an electric baton. Imagine having that for a game. Like, that would be pretty cool. That would be quite cool. Okay, right. Things looking pretty good. And it might, dude, if they actually, if they were to bring something like that to a game, I think, honestly, a, a lot of people would like something like that, you know? Especially, especially with Wonder Weapons. I feel like Wonder Weapons now are probably going a little bit too, I don't know. I wouldn't say extreme, but like, um, it'd be cool if they were to make a Wonder Weapon that was like, similar to like the effects of like a Wonder Woth or something like that, you know? The Wonder Wolf looked awesome as a Wonder Weapon. I mean, that thing... Oh, dude. And it's one of the first Wonder Weapons. Like, it's crazy, man. Is this Gladiator going to get in the way? Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Need to be careful, need to be careful, need to be careful. Okay, there we go. That's all good. Oh, man. I think it's like each couple rounds. The uh, the Dying Wish refills, which is good. Which is good right there. Not a pain. Yeah, I think it's like each round or so. Nice. Okay, that's good stuff so far. Oh, God, that guy's running fast. Okay, okay. Right. That was pretty clutch right there, though. We got a nice power. Um, What is it? Specialist power up. Just in case we do get cornered. Victoria, I think if we, if we didn't have Victorious Tortoise for this game, we would have been gone so instantly, dude. Like, Victorious Tortoise is why we're actually staying alive here. If we don't use it, then we're, we're almost screwed. <laughs> we are almost screwed. Oh, God. 
Okay, no, we don't have a turn zombie. Okay. Another cool little trick as well, guys. If you get zombies in the way of you... Okay, no, that's not a good demonstration. If you get zombies in the way of you and uh, have your machine gun out, sometimes shooting at them can actually push them out the way. It's a cool little trick I've seen. Quite effective. Some of you guys might not know that, but it's actually a really good little uh, strategy that you can do. L little good little tip, you know? Um, or oh, a cornfield that you can unlock with an... Wait, a corn... A cornfield that you can unlock with an Easter egg with a mobile co combine combine harvester. Another idea for a miracle weapon would be a waffle iron. A waffle iron. Interesting name, I'd say, for instance. A waffle iron. Would that be like, um... I guess in its name, like, uh, like would it be mixed with a Wonder Waff? I'm just thinking a waffle iron. But it would be cool, right, if, I guess, as you've just said, if you can unlock areas of a map by, like, leveling up or something, you know, or by doing an Easter egg, you can unlock other areas. I guess they've done that with some maps, like, you know, if you... But it's not, like, permanently you can unlock it. It's, like, temporarily, you know, like, if you go to the next stage of the map, you know, like a boss fight, you can go to another area to defeat the boss, which is pretty cool. Good stuff right there, guys. Pretty good. Oh. We've got any more gladiators? I don't think we do. Okay. Oh my god, my eyes. Okay, right. Can we just go through here real quick? Just want to go down here. Nice one. Things looking pretty good so far, guys. Oh, close. Close right there. I've just realized that's probably not the best area to throw a... Uh, a wraith fire. I feel like throwing the wraith fire just around, just around here would be best. I'd say, or no, around here. I think that would be the best area. <sighs> nice dog round or max ammo round. W right there. Come on. Shit. Oh, easy there. Oh, okay, right. I'm going to get out of that situation. Oh, nice, he's actually down. Nice one. That's cool right there. It's nice how the um, the tigers are probably even weaker than the dogs, which is actually quite good. I would prefer that tigers not to be so powerful. <laughs> yeah. I want to see how effective this thing is. Like, like, what can this thing do? Can this thing kill it? It kills it pretty good. I mean, if you use a different gun, this Wonder Weapon will be good to slow down, I think, a Horde more than anything. As well as if you spam the Wonder Weapon, it's effective. I could probably see probably past 50 or 60 it not... there. Uh, 50 probably it not being that effective. Dwarf Alliance doesn't have to be, uh, to be kind... doesn't have to be kind to the zombies. The mark of the... of a toasted waffle on your face would be a funny... <laughs> <laughs> Rather than, you know, killing them with electricity, you know, bullets, firepower, you're killing them with waffle power, you know what I mean? A maple syrup, you know? You're blasting these zombies' faces with 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 parts of waffle and <laughs> sweets and stuff. <laughs> They're definitely going to have a, a, <laughs> a great time, you know? Oh my god. 
<laughs> a creative idea for sure, uh, Rune answers. Great I creative idea for sure, man. <laughs> Who knows? They might do that. They might do that. They might create a, wo a, a wonder weapon that involves killing them w with less firepower and just, you know, things that wouldn't really kill anyone. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, right. Come on. We're doing pretty good. Oh, we got to be careful. See that? Look at that. That that stops them all by their place right there, which is effective. But what? Oh, God. Just got to be careful with that. Oh, nice one. That's effective. Can candy crush edition. <laughs> Literally, dude. Just have candy, uh, you know, waffles, chocolate and stuff all just hidden their faces, you know. Now, if it's hot chocolate, you know, if it's if it's warm hot candy, that's gonna be some damage right there, dude. You know, they're gonna really get their face faces melted, you know. <laughs> Imagine having a wonder weapon that just involves you having a hot coffee and just spilling it in their face. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay, this is... Okay, now we're, we're under control. Nice one. We're doing pretty good so far, guys. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, nice. That was pretty good so far. That was that was quite good right there. Nice one. It's nice that we're actually going on a roll with this strategy. We're not doing too bad. I need to slow them down. <laughs> Yo, just imagine that, man. Use, you know... You, all right, all right, all right, all right. You've got maple syrup, which is, you know, it's, it's okay. It kind of slows them down. And then you've got honey, you know, created by the bees, you know. All you have to do is just go in the honey... Um, the honeycomb where the bees are. You might get stung a couple times, but it's part of the Easter egg. You just get the honey out the honeycomb. And bam, you slow your enemies down. Effective strategy. All your zombies is now filled with honey. Feeling all sticky and slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I don't know what other kind of, uh, sweet would be good for, uh, a wonder weapon. I don't know, um... What about... I don't know if a lollipop would be good. You could use a massive lollipop as a hammer. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> Actually, no. Use toxic waste to um to make them have a sour experience, you know? Hey, no way. Kill will come into the stream. No way, dude. He says, nice game, man. Hey, thank you. I do appreciate it, Kill. Well, glad to see you coming to the stream, man. Yeah, dude, we're playing some BO4. We don't always play, BO play BO4, but whenever we do, dude... It is always a fun experience, you know. I'm going to do a bit of nine. Practice for the Evan Guide 5k tournament. You know, but um, how are you doing today, Kill? Hopefully having a great day at the man. I'm guessing you've been practicing on this map a little bit. I know. I mean, you'd be getting some crazy rounds on BO4, you know. Um, But, uh, yeah, it's crazy. We're, yeah, we're just practicing for the tournament. Just getting ready for it. Things are looking pretty good so far. I feel like probably past the 40s. Uh, I don't know if the spawns are going to be faster or... Oh, gold. Blooming out. Oh, nice. We actually just got a thing right there. That's pretty effective. Yeah, let's just throw it like there. We probably should have got upgraded shield or extra perk. That would have been quite effective, man. Screw it. We're just... We're bringing out the big guns. Kill them. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. Bam. Get back. Oh, where's the last Zomboni? 
I need to practice some blood lol. Oh, I feel you there. I mean, I, personally, I feel like blood. I don't know if people would agree, but I feel like blood can, would probably be one of the more challenging, if not voyage. You know, I don't. It's crazy. I heard. I heard. I think Evan and I think Evan and Apocalyptic said blood is like quite like uh, quite chilled out. I'm not going to say it's easy, but quite uh, chilled out and stuff. I think compared to the other ones, if it's easier than nine, then that's good. You know. But, I mean, especially for hardcore modes, um, I mean, any map is going to be diff more difficult than on hardcore mode than regular mode. It's pretty nice, though, because you get to train around. Like, it feels nice on hardcore. Um, BO4 is awesome, though, man. I, I really wish just BO4 was a just a little bit more liked, you know? I love training on this game, though. It's awesome. Hey, we even have John Wick, though, coming to the stream. The point... In the chat, he says, There are certain things I prefer to be hardcore than my game. See, John, I think John must win the the award for, for, for bringing the most interesting creative saucy jokes. You know? <laughs> oh, my God. Hell yeah, John. Hopefully your day's going good over there, man. We're just on a bit of, yeah, we're just on a bit of Black Ops 4 zombies. We're on some hardcore mode. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, what's that? Oh, I want to throw it around here, I think. Yeah, this would be the safest area. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Just want to get that real quick. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, my God. Whoa. Jeez, chill out. Oh, my God. Kill those says, super sprinters are nuts in BF4. Stressful sometimes. Yeah, I mean... I've never had super sprinters on hardcore, but on normal on normal mode, um, I think I had them on voyage or classified. Especially if you do like any kind of camp strat, they they literally bum rush you. Like they do not, they don't really let you have a chance to reload your gun. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> They're damn fast. I think though it's cool that they added that to Bo4. Again, it gives it uh, gives it a different challenge. You know, Bo3 never had super sprinters. World at War had them. For rook sprinters, but they weren't. They didn't activate in a certain round. I think. I think it was probably like round seventeen. But I guess that's what makes be a four unique. You know, they have super sprinters. It's cool and stuff. Um. Hey, we even got web zombies though coming to the stream as well. Saying, uh, "Yo, with a crown." Hey, glad to see a cup dropping in today's stream. I'd say web zombies. You came in the right time. Versus being on a bit of black ops four. We're on some hardcore at the moment. On some uh, nine. We're just seeing how far we can last. Have a good time and stuff, man. But hopefully day, hopefully your Monday is going great over there, bro. Glad to see you coming through. Nice one. We just got that all figured out. It'd be cool if there was a zombies count for this for this game. I think that's one thing that would be really cool to see a zombies count. I know it'd be a free with mods and all things like that. Like you can have zombies counts, but I don't know. BO4 did it best, in my opinion, with Viarity. You know, you can choose on what mode you want to play. If you want to play on diff what difficulty you want to play, made it fun. Yeah, replay replayable. That's that's the word for it. Replayable. Okay, yeah, we want to get this out. Who's on with this? Says I love this map. Hey, hell yeah, dude. Honestly, we got some we got some nine enjoys over it. That's a W right there, man. Honestly, nine nine's a sick map, dude. You know. I remember not knowing this map, thinking, ah, this map's just not really it, you know. But learning it and stuff, dude, this map is the stuff, man. Honestly, it, it's a really unique map, to be honest. Um, I think the one thing I love about this map, I'd say, I don't know if you guys would agree or relate with me on this one, but um, how, like, every three to four rounds, there's a dog, there's a max ammo round, you know. That's what makes it fun. Don't always have to rely on traps, you know. It's a nice map. It's a good map to start off on for BO4 really is oh well you take a look at that that's good well i'm not gonna don't want to be taking an l there i think i turn off amos says so it's looking a little bit sketchy Oh my god. Whoa. You be a little bit careful. Ooh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Um 
Nico, although says definitely agree, man. Uh, good luck with your game. Got to go back to work. Hey, no problem as well, Kill Killwell. Thank you for coming to the stream, man. And I'll catch you in the next one, bro. Have a blessed day over there, man. Jono says the reward is for the most creative sussy backer jokes. Uh, should be a weirdly shaped golden trophy. Well, hmm, interesting, weirdly shaped. I, you know, there could be many weird shapes, you know? Many weird shapes, but to progress, he says, uh, trophy 15 pounds and some toppy from cute summer shop. Oh my god. George, really? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, let's have a quick look, though. Uh, yeah, great Easter egg and boss fight. Oh, web the boss fight. I never got to play the boss fight, but you know what? It would be cool to try as an Easter egg, man, because I'd seen the boss fight before, and it looks like one of them. Honestly, it looks like one of the most epic ones. You have to you go against. Isn't it like a massive um, uh, elephant, if I'm correct, you know? It would be cool to actually try that. It... <laughs> One thing I just wish is BO4 was just more popular. I just wish that, you know? Um, ooh, we got someone by the name of CodBO3 main screen guy. He says, good to see you again. I was gone for a while due to uh, school stuff, obviously. Yeah, it's all cool. It's all cool, man. Welcome back into the stream, though. He says, uh, it's me, Jaden. I just changed my name. Jaden, Jaden, Jaden. It, hmm. It doesn't ring a bell. Sometimes I do forget, though. My apologies if I do forget you and stuff, man. But uh, digress, though. Welcome to the stream. I'd say, though, I'll be a free main screen guy. Welcome back into the stream. It's been some time, man. How have you been? How, how's school been? Hopefully you've been doing good, I'd say, bro. Um, John, though, says difficulty is one thing. This game did really well. That the mutations for making the game how you want it. I really, uh, I really, it really, it had some really cool features I wish they would brought back. Honestly, yeah, I mean, say this, Sean, if they would have brought back that to Cold War, Cold War would have been awesome. Especially, Cold, I think Cold War, of its Arcadia feel, having different modes classic modes smaller maps as well it would have made it just cold war feel just complete i feel like you know this game feels complete in a way i feel like this this game does feel complete in some way um you know um it's been good ain't awesome. i'm glad to hear that it's going good i'd say going good i'd say be a free uh main screen guy yeah, yeah man if you're interested as well we're just on uh some nine at the moment we're playing on hardcore seeing how far we can go you know and i'm glad to hear that it's going good man um shakira though says where uh where the girls <laughs> it's a sausage fest <laughs> and it all types of people coming over it <laughs> chelmo says uh I wish the game was better because these quality of life features would be mainstays if this game was more successful. I feel like the game... Ah, definitely, I feel like one part of what made this game just fall down, I feel like when the game first came out is when they brought up them shitey, shitey supply drops. I mean, oh my god, it was terrible. Because I'm sure when they, uh... oh god, when they, oh, okay, this guy's not going to die. When they was bringing this game out, I... yeah, they said they weren't going to bring out any more supply drops. I don't know if you guys remember it, but they said that. And they just fucking lied to us, which was kind of annoying, to be honest. Yeah, it was kind of annoying, to be honest. And then as soon as the game started just dying after like... Uh, half a year or so then that's when they um gave the option to uh grind for keys to get the dlc weapons if you know what i mean you know oh god but yeah i think it came out at the wrong time probably i don't know i mean bo3 came out 2015 bo4 came out 2018 so three years away um i don't know you guys see me on BO3 Ride AG? You uh you see me on BO3 Ride AG? I don't know if we've got each other added on BO3. Is it on uh, Steam by any chance called BO3 main screen guy or I don't know. Have a quick look though, yeah. The uh, stuttering has gone now. Kind of problem for the stuttering, the video memory it takes up. Oh it you know what? Yeah, it could be that man. 
It could just be your memory. I mean, you got to think about it as well. If you're downloading so many BO3 custom maps, I mean, I do the same thing. But if you're downloading a, downloading a lot, uh, what can happen is your memory can just get so full. It can turn into the memory of a uh, Modern Warfare 3 game where it's like 300 to 400 gigs, which is crazy. Insane, man. Dude, you see me on the main screen on BO3? Ah, oh, okay, I understand now. <laughs> My slow brain just processed what you meant. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, man. Every time we load on BO3, you know, you've got the MR6s. I wish I wish you could try and change it with the M1911s. I'm always, you know, getting frustrated with these BO3 guns. You know. Who knows though? Next time I load onto a BO3 main menu, I might see the BO3 guy holding the M1911. <laughs> <laughs> oh god um infinite warfare got released wrong time yeah infinite warfare like when did that come that came out after world war Two. so wait was it after world war Two? yeah yeah well mm, no it, world war Two was after infinite warfare so yeah <sighs> world war Two. yeah because I'm guessing after BO3, everyone was tired of the inf uh, of the futuristic crap, which is fair, you know. And um, after that, Infinite Warfare came out in 2016. When that came out, not even just that, I think one of the reasons why people really, I think, so. All right, when when the game first came out, um, they came out two games. They, it was COD 4 Remastered. And it was Infinite Warfare Remastered. And the issue they did is, in order to buy Infinite Warfare, they had COD 4 Remastered in front of the game. And they were, they were, yeah. And so when they told people about COD 4 being involved with Infinite Warfare, or COD 4 being, uh, being brought out, being remastered, everyone was thinking about COD 4 at the time and not caring about Infinite Warfare. But what they did, they put COD 4 in front of Infinite Warfare and said, look, if you want to buy our new game, you've got to buy our old game. So I think they charged, what is it, even more money for Infinite Warfare? If I'm correct anyway. It was something like that. Um, everyone didn't like it as well. I remember going into Tesco's and buying the game, I think, just for COD 4. Okay, John, that's different. Let's have a look. And I will only accept the swap it stop it if it needs to be absolute. Oh, my God. John is going haywire again. <laughs> Jeez, bro. <laughs> but, nah, that's... that. I think that's what, one of the issues for Infinite Warfare because when it came out, they put in front COD 4. And when everyone bought infinite warfare with cod 4 no one played infinite warfare i remember i played it very little and i thought the game was absolutely just i still think about it with the multiplayer the multiplayer is terrible in my opinion i wasn't really a big fan of it the zombies was fun i remember i played i think i played yeah, i played half and half half of zombies half of multiplayer i kind of enjoyed the zombies wasn't my kind of dig though wasn't my style it was okay Also, you don't need to call the... It's the M1911. You could just call it the 1911. And I would rather have two games attached to each other than incomplete, glitchy, greedy mess. That is true. That is true, John. But, again, if, if you just look at back at them times of when... Back at that time when they brought out Infinite Warfare. I, I, I'm sure you guys must remember this. They... I'm sure it was... If you were to buy, but they were basically like, oh, if you want to buy an Infinite Warfare game, you got to buy COD 4 with it. And they charged it double price. And I remember a lot of people didn't like that. You know? I don't know if some people liked it. I remember I didn't really like it because I wasn't in there for it. What the fuck? I wasn't in there for Infinite Warfare. I thought the guns as well. No disrespect to the game, but. It... The thing is, I'd say that makes more sense for it, IW, is that game was literally... I think BO3 is in 2060s. That's weird. But Infinite Warfare is in the year 21,000. But I think they still want it a little bit too too much with the futuristic stuff. I mean, I can't see us having space... Yeah, actually, no, I was going to say space... Yeah. I can't see us... 
having the future like that. I don't know. Probably just putting a bit too much hate on the game. I don't know. I don't know. To have a quick look, though. Um, do you imagine if the COD th uh, if the COD three main menu guy could be a character in a game? Oh, dude, you know, like, like I, I feel like that's what a lot of people thought at first when um when BO3 first came out. You know, like who's the guy in the main screen, the main menu? You know, who is the guy? Um, but then you know, it just turned out to just be no one, or it just turned out to just be a character. You know what I mean? But it would it would have been cool if that was like a main character. But I mean, you've got to let me think. I think for the BO2 mains, the BO2 and BO1, the main the main cover, the main picture of the cover is, I believe, one of the characters. If I'm correct, off the campaign, I could be wrong though, but I'm sure that's the case. Um, but for BO3, it's a little bit different. I think I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Don't count me on that. Let's have a quick look at it. Sorry, John. John there says, uh, and it's the other way around. You needed to buy the IW to get Modern Warfare Remastered. And funny enough, I actually played uh, both together. Really? I, I really didn't like IW. I thought IW was, I don't know. I mean, it was at a time where everyone was getting sick and tired of futuristic games. I played much more Modern Warfare Remastered than IW. You know, I, I, I just, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of it. Looking back at it now, it's probably not a bad game. But yeah, I just, eh, just wasn't really a big fan of it. I think the only gun I used on that game was a, it was a classic remake. It was the, I forgot the name of it, but it was lit. I think I got it gold, I think. Not gold, but the mastery camo for it. Or gold status. It was, uh, it was the Sten lookalike weapon. I forgot the name of it, though. I always forget the name. Because they changed the names on their guns, man. But yeah. I looked back at the campaign though. Oh. Never say never, but unless COD does uh does something truly special <coughs> or I get a or I get it for free. I don't use myself. I don't see myself buying another new COD game. Every other game seems so much more fun. That's, you know what? That's respectable, I'd say, man. Like, I don't know. I mean, with with COD games now, I feel like they're trying to change. They're, they're trying to change, in a way. But they're just, they're not listening to, like, I guess us saying, for example, like, we're getting kind of tired of the same engine. Like, if they bring out Golf War, which is most likely going to be the same engine as Modern Warfare, I don't know what to think. I Like, I don't know what people... Oh, shit. I don't know what people are going to think about it, really. If people are going to like it or not. You know what I mean? Oh, God. Let's have a quick look, though. Um... Renato Doe says we can give this guy a name. <laughs> but uh, VF3 says, what do you think what mode does the BO3 main screen guy would be in? Oh, we can give this guy a name. What kind of name we can give him? I <laughs> Gerard or something. <laughs> um, you know, what mode? It would have to be a solo mode if you're talking about the main menu guy on BO3. <laughs> or should we, I don't know, what name we can give him? Gerard or something? Oh, no, I got literally nothing on there. That's not good. Okay. What can it be? Oh, you know what? I'd say... It, hmm. It would have to be a mode that's solo. It would have to, because, I mean, he's solo. You know what I mean? probably free for all <laughs> he's probably in the main menu the main menu screen guy is probably just camping in a corner and it looks like he's in a dark place but he's probably not in that much of a dark place at all he's probably just in a corner 
you know? And the camera's just set into the look of... <gasps> I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, that was close, dude. Near the trap as well. EBGBs. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Nice one. Come on. I feel like we're going to get a blight father next. Let's have a quick look. Um, I see an AI. One sec. No, <laughs> no problem. Real nonsense. I want to name the BF3 main guy, um, Jonathan. Jonathan. Interesting name. <laughs> Interesting name. John, this is especially tri uh, oh, Trepang 2. Especially Trepang 2. I beat that game last night and it was awesome. <laughs> I know I would fight um, in the Syndicate HQ at the end, but damn, the twist was not what I expected. I was genuinely surprised. I think it was really funny when you were going against the uh, the Mothman. <laughs> I don't know, just so it reminds me of when like he, uh, you know, he, when he does the attack, John, when he does the attack in your, in, in your character's face, and you were like, get out my face. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Hey, John, this is what have you got for your dentist tonight, AG, bro? Oh, got me... Actually, I don't really know what to say, John. Might just be some pasta with... Probably pasta with chicken or something like that. I'm thinking pasta with chicken, John. I guess what have you got for dinner as well, John? Ooh, what kind of dinner are you thinking, man? You know, you're thinking uh, any meat feast pizza or anything like that? Deep Soup says, do you like kick better than Twitch? I've never... I've never... um. I've never streamed on Twitch, so I, I wouldn't really know. I don't know. From what I've heard about Twitch, I've heard more bad things than good things about it. But, um, I mean, the same with Kick. I think, you know, but I, I don't know. I just... Kick just seems new, so I'm just giving it a try. Not expecting much. Um, John, though, says, also, Doom Eternal might be getting some new content. Elder Ring has a new DLC coming in June. So, yeah. Even those games have more to offer to me. See, that's like, yes, they said that's good, but you know, that's um, that's a positive there. I mean, it shows that you're interested into other games. I mean, I, I guess as I know from the start, John, you're into other, other style games, which isn't, uh, you know, good. It's healthy. Um, you know, which is pretty cool. The AI gave me five names for the guy. Oh, really? No way. I definitely put him out here. I'd say, John, what kind of names the AI be given? You know. Oh, one day you should do Left 4 Dead 2. It's an awesome game. I think someone recommended me to do all, um, Left 4 Dead COD uh, main screen guy, but we do try and keep it original as possible here with just zombies. Like, I, I don't really seem to get too burnt out with zombies. I just think I just keep a le like, balanced level with it. Um, it would be interesting to do another game, although we've done other games before, and I, I don't know. I don't know how, if I'll be honest, I don't think it's always worked out to be the best. But it would be, I don't know, we'll, we'll have a look into it. It would be interesting. Sergeant, Stompy, Muck, Stomperson, Corporal, Chaos, Private, Pew Pew, Sharp, Shooter, Sherlock, Shredder, The Shredder. There's some interesting names, I'd say there. They seem like some interesting names right there, in that sense. <laughs> Damn, those won't work, Rude. Ah, oh, it's what other kind of names? I guess like more modern kind of names. I don't know if that would that would classify. We're just gonna quickly pop to the toilet real quick though, guys. Just gotta quickly go to the restroom though. But um, I'll oh, just be two two shakes though. Hopefully all your legends are enjoying it. Try and get a goal, guys. Of uh, let's have a quick look. What's the main like goal? You know, can we get a can we get a goal though, guys? Of twenty likes in the stream. We're only two away, guys. We're only two away. It's two seconds there, everyone. Two
Hey, right, we're back in the stream. Looking pretty good. Um, Jomo says, oh god, my voice. <coughs> oh god. Jomo says, I had to just clear my throat there. I've had uh, I've had my dinner already. Two cans of normal Coke. Oh, the, the, the casual, the normal John. How are you, man? Two cans of Coke, two large sausages, and two pickle eggs with chips. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool, man. I'd say, John, have you ever thought about trying ever any other kind of food? I don't know if you'll be interested, but like, um, I, I wouldn't recommend McDonald's, but like, I don't know. Like, is there any other kind of things that they serve you at the fish and chip shop? Probably recommend. I don't know what would be good, to be honest. God, these guys are killing fast. They are not saying no. We're getting more points than we're spending traps and stuff, which is a benefit, though, guys. So I'm happy to see that. Oh, God. I could not see how this would be like on... Ooh, what this would be like without Victorious Tortoise. We would be doomed. Come on. Break open that trap. Oh, hell no. Okay, right. Let's just quickly just do this. Don't want to be too close to that guy because the last time we did that on Voyage, he actually did kill us one shot, which was bad. So, I just want to be careful about that. Oh, there we go. Things are going according to plan. With John, though, saying the content in Doom Eternal might be either a mod menu for a console like the classic Doom games or a new master levels. Um, I would prefer the master levels, though. Okay, so more, uh, by any chance, a more upgraded version with the levels rather than the classic. Is that uh, uh, menu? The cla oh, yeah, like the classic Doom. Okay, I, I kind of understand where you're coming from. Like, isn't doesn't isn't Doom from 2016 more of an upgraded look? That the graphics of that game looks really good. I, that's the only Doom I know, or the classic one, the the old ones. Renaissance though says Spec Ops, Sa uh, Spec Ops, uh, Silas, Del uh, Silas, Delta Force, Dominic, Recon, Ronaldo, <laughs> Commando, Cruise, Tr Tactical, Titus. And these names are quite, um, are quite creative, man. I've researched a little bit about, well, not too much, but, you know, uh, AI is quite interesting, I'd say, man. I know of you, Ridon, since, like, you've, uh, you, like, you, you seem like AI, uh, like, you seem like, you know, a little bit with AI and stuff. Yeah. Learned a little, well, seen some, learned a little bit about AI, which is pretty cool. What did I learn about it? Um, I've kind of forgot now, but. No, yeah, AI, because it's brand new. Um, people are getting very rich from AI, which is crazy, man. I learned about it. Um, they're using AI to help other companies that might need AI to replace for other jobs that will use humans, if you know what I mean, which is crazy, man. And there's different version, different types of AI. There's, oh, what is it? There's deep learning ai i think is that what it's called and weak oh i need to remember the names there's weak ai which does like i think it's ai gener uh, ai image and you know the ai we're using now like image generation text generator and then there's strong ai which i think i don't know what that one does but it does something but they're bringing a new ai which is i think it's um I forgot the name of it, but yeah, it's very strong AI. Imagine the COD BO3 memo new guy would be somewhere in each map on the PO4. You see him behind the Kino stage. And then you see him, I don't know, beautifully just on the skyscrapers of Die Rise, seeing all the buildings torn down, you know? You see him, you see him in the jungle of Shang, you know? Just chilling next to the. Napalm zombie, <laughs> you know what I mean? My favorite level is Doom though, John, though, says Eternal is still don't have master levels, which include Hell on Earth, Ultra, uh, Ultra, Doom Hunter Base, Erdak, and most importantly, uh, Necraval. Okay, Butter Chicken would be nice. Butter Chicken, it's all oh, yes, the Butter Chicken is quite good. If you have that with, bit of, you know, chips and stuff, oh, you can't go wrong with a bit of Butter Chicken, man. You know what I mean? Can't go wrong with a bit of butter chicken. A um about a, 
it's it's honestly a good food but a battered sausage is like a, a sausage with batter it's quite nice yeah battered sausage oh can't go wrong with that man oh come on come on oh get away from us oh we don't want that just want to get out of the way they should just make master levels for the entire campaign and dlcs and other fans would love it for transit i think he would uh be chilling at the building oh yeah you know he might even be in the bus who knows he, he might he might be on the bus like and rather than him holding the guns sideways he's just gently got the guns on his lap you know and, you, know, you know what i mean he's just he's just chilling on the bus <laughs> with ted yeah. <laughs> Hopefully this chapter's better than anything. Come on. Not a good fact to that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, no, we're going to leave that a little bit, actually. These guys just don't say no. Oh, that was perfect throw right there, guys. Oh. I gotta try and get a, a, a refill on my specialist weapon. Our oh, trap is recharging. Fair play, fair play. Yeah, if you guys haven't already, we do have a Discord server. If you guys do want to join it, just press exclamation mark Discord and you'll be invited in the server. Um, I guess what might interest you into joining the server as well is, one, we have a great community over there. Two, we even have some tabs on the Discord to help with your channel if you do stream involving a self-promotion tab. Oh, God. Involving, involving a self-promotion tab. A tab for thumbnails with thumbnails in the tab um, and as well as a tab for um the pngs to help you with your thumbnails if you are interested into that oh god that was very close but yeah if you guys are interested in the discord just put an exclamation mark discord and you guys be able to join in for tra um for origins i think it'd be on uh on top of the head of the giant robots <laughs> Dude, just like just imagine the um the turbulence this this this, this bo3 main menu guy is gonna have he's on top of the he's on top of the mate like he's on top of the robot's head and he's going up and down and up and down. <laughs> he's gonna have a very bumpy ride i'd say <laughs> oh my god like, the screen would just shake for him. They need to do something like that, actually, where the main menu screen guy is in all types of places. Hell, he's even on Mars. You know, I don't know why that would make sense, but yeah, he's on Mars for some reason. <clears throat> or he's in Starbucks or McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that would be hilarious. God, can these dogs just, uh, tigers? Um, I feel like we can wait a little bit. We don't, uh, is there more zombies that are coming through? Let's have a quick look though. Where would be, where would he be on Buried? Mob of, uh, Mob? And the uh, breast map ever. Die rise. Oh, so starting off buried. He, you know what? We, we can choose all different areas. So for buried, I think he'll be at the bar. You know what I mean? He'll be at the bar, I'd say. If not the mine shaft. You know, just chilling there. He's got a, he's, he's got a pot of gold near him because he's at a mine shaft, you know? I'd say, um, a mob? Oh, dude, he'll definitely be in the jail cell. And... And he won't be alone. He'll be having Brutus with him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, I've done myself here. It's good that we actually had our specialist weapon. That was good. All right, we don't want to do that from now on.
Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, they're still they're still coming over. There's still so many zombies. Oh, yeah, and Dairise, he would have to be on top of one of the skyscrapers. But while he's on there, he just sees Russman. Or just one of the Victor's characters. W for Russman, though. Awesome character. The trash, like uh, the trash, like GT GPT and uh, Bing AI, is only for the public. The trash. Let's have a look. The big companies have completely different kits. Yeah, that's what I read on. Um, this AI can now see, feel, and hear. 2025. Uh, will AI smarter? Will AI be smarter than human? 2050. It will be 5,000 times smarter than all humans together. Really? Bro, that's crazy, man. Yeah, because I read about it, Rude Nonsense. Um, they've, so there's... It's all like different types... Well, yeah, there's different types of AI. There's weak AI, which I think the stuff we use. There's strong AI and... In fact, let me look this up. I'm Because I learned about it quite a bit. I don't know why I forgot it, though, when I'm when I'm... Not doing anything, I'll remember it. Um, let me have a quick look, though. I'll have a look. What types of AI? Because there's another AI. I think the one that you're on about, the one that came out in 2029, that one's not been made just yet, but they will... Um... Hey, what? What? Keep track, verify issue. Wait there, guys. Just give me two seconds. Oh, not this shit again. Wait there, guys. Wait there. Give me two seconds. I've just been um just been signed out again. Just wait there, guys. Just want to check something real quick, guys. Wait there. Um, normal. Um, here are some most common reasons. Going to features to most various security features. Some place protect your account. If you sign up from new device or location, Gmail might send you out your account to ensure that it's really you trying to access your account. Okay. I did Google just randomly sign me out. Uh, make sure your cookies are turned on. Some antiviruses relate software may delete your cookies if your cookies are turned on. Okay, all right. It's got a little bit paranoid there. What was I going to look up? Evan though says, um, nice, closing in the 50. Yeah, it's not looking too bad, I'd say, Evan. It's looking pretty good so far. The strategy is actually quite nice. Um, but yeah, glad to see you back in the stream. I'm just, uh, just quickly searching on different AIs. Yeah, so... Different types of AI. So there are. There it is. So there's. I think it's. I think it stands for SAI, but there's Super AI. All right. So there starts off with Narrow AI or Artificial Narrow Intelligence. I think that's the stuff we use. There's General AI. Um, a general AI, so G A I or artificial general intelligence A G I. My bad. And then there's super artificial intelligence, which is A S I. And then there's reactive machines, limited memory, theory of mind, and then self-aware. I think that's the thing that you're on about, Renonce. And so that's very interesting. I think with super AI or ASI, artificial super intelligence. I don't think they've. I don't think that they have been. That has been made just yet. I read about it somewhere. I could be. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. 
But yeah, it's very interesting. Um, oh, I wish I remember what I learned from, because it would be nice to carry a conversation on about it. But yeah, I... Uh, it's, it's interesting how they make it. I think what they do... Ah, uh, what was it? There's... It's not nodes, but they... They connect information together and they th they do layers of information and it all connects within each other and so it's interesting so there's an input th th there's an input of layers there's something in the middle that i forgot the name of and then there's an output oh there's a hidden layer in the middle i think and that's something to do with the information about it i couldn't know off by art but yeah man it's really cool dude it's really really cool actually to learn from Love learning things about like this, you know. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Obviously, I'm like a bit of a geek. The shadows of evil. I think you'll be in the sitting room on the building signs. Oh yeah, it will probably be in the Playboy Mansion or what, what, is it Playboy Mansion? The the weird area that um you see uh, Rose from, you know, it'll probably be over there or something. These guys just don't die. Actually, for shadows, he should be in the tram or the stage or underground before the backup. <laughs> yeah, he could be over there as well. You know? It is crazy how AI is, though. I don't know. Um, AI agents with long time and short time memory already exist. Really? They actually already exist? Again, yeah. I, it was something that I heard about. It could have been something that was, like, even more... That, should, that might be even more advanced in the future. But yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, it's crazy what AI can do. It really is. Um, and people are making a lot of money from them as well. Like, oh, I wanted to join this uh, this course and stuff. They were they were offering... What is it? It was like one of them adverts that would pop up. And they'd be like, hey, do you want to join this course? We can teach you about AI. Um... You know, you can learn. Um, we're basically saying the reasons why AI is great for, you know, making a living and stuff. And um, I wanted to join the course, but it was just a little bit too expensive. It was, I mean, £5,000 for the lowest to get a course over there and potentially work for them. Well, I don't have that money. I could probably try and save up or something, but yeah. It'd be sick to join a course like that. Even if it's £10,000, I'll... Save up money. Join a course. Got to risk it. Nice one. Right. Okay. Pretty good so far. Yeah. I mean, they basically said, like, the benefits for AI is, is very good. I mean, um, companies like, uh, obviously, like Google are using them um you know like they can replace the the work a human would do and replace that with artificial intelligence and so if someone was to if someone was to make uh how can i say like a program uh i guess their ai kind of like system to do something that could potentially swap out um something from a company for from what humans would do but they can use their ai system to do it for them and so they could get paid a lot of money i don't know if that makes any sense you know the topic of the topic ai is a deep rabbit hole i mean don't get lost and don't think about too much oh yeah nah it's definitely not one of them i think when i thought about it i was probably going a little bit too deep with it i tend to do things like that <laughs> just, kind of, just try and deep so Try and dive so deep into it to try and figure it out. Like I like to learn fast, but uh, <laughs> you need to you need to take time to learn things, you know, or educate yourself. You, it, it can't happen over a night. That's what I think at times. Like oh, I could just learn within a day. And oh, this guy's still here. Ironically, blue collar uh, collar jobs are the ones that AI is having the most trouble uh, recreating. Blue collar. 
what's blue collar jobs? Is it like um hmm? Again, still learning, still still learning. Don't really know. Don't really know anything about it. Just just learned just read a couple of uh, paragraphs and um yeah, wanted to get into it a little bit, but I'm guessing blue collar is like a, a, a like like a section for AI. If I'm correct, I could be wrong. If you want to learn about AI, uh, I'll teach you all I know. Yeah, sure. Honestly, that'd be awesome, with nonsense. Yeah, I, th honestly, I would like to learn a little bit with AI. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. That'd be that'd honestly be sick, man. Yeah, because like even going on the internet, you can learn and stuff, but actually learning from someone like like from someone like talking to them would be much better, dude. It would be nice to man. Okay, I don't really know too much about AI, but it would be nice to know. I would love to learn off some of you guys, you know? Blue collar equals jobs that require manual labor, particularly industry. Do you not know about the blue collars? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Over here, I don't know. We, I don't know if we have blue collar, but I now know what you mean, like manual labor, industry. We have a lot of industrial jobs over here, and it's kind of AIDS, to be honest, if I'm going to be real with you. It kind of sucks. Oh, God, okay. We're not really focusing here. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. E coming in with a red face emoji. Oh, oh, my God. That guy's angry. Now, nah, welcome back in the stream. Are we glad to see you back in the stream, man? <laughs> Pressing these zombies' cheeks be like. Hey, yo. What the hell? Whoa, get out of here. Rot scallion. Oh, the monster says I use um I use the oh I use the placebo effect to get better output from AI. I drugged the AI, mixed with love bombing, gaslighting, and conditioning. <laughs> 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 Hey, if hey, if you can even make an uh, if you can even even make like uh, your AI high and stuff, dude, just go for it, you know. <laughs> oh my god, you can't just get it to solve problems as well. You can even get it to feel, uh, you know, f f feel any type of effects, you know. But I'm telling you, man, soon they're gonna start making AI like I don't even know that. <laughs> you know what, actually, I. I don't know if this is lonely or not, dude, but I've seen, uh, I keep getting the, well, I used to keep getting these abs for AI girlfriend, which I'm like, what the hell? I don't need no AI GF, what the hell, dude? Some lonely ass crap. I don't know, I don't know whoever would be signing up for having an AI girlfriend, but yeah, that's a little bit odd. Um, anyway, that includes hard manual labor, architecture, architecture. Agriculture, manufacturing, construction, mining, and or maintenance. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like manual work. You know, you're digging, you're shoveling, you're building, you're picking up heavy items, you're in the factories, you know. you got heavy machinery all around you. Edo says, 
Making making steak instead of that chicken I was talking about earlier on. Oh, some steak I'd say. That does sound pretty good. That does sound pretty goody. Some steak. I'd say steak though can be better. You know, chicken is nice, but it can be dry at times. I don't know if you guys feel me on that one. <laughs> chicken can be real dry at times. Boom. You're going to disable the trap, aren't you? I'm coming. Okay, there we go. Um, also, AI gaslight, gatekeep, grip. <laughs> don't, don't know what that means, man. God's sake. Okay, right. We should be all good. Ayo. There we go. Oh, I get out of there. Nice one. Hell, this thing's just... This thing's glitching all over the place. Die. Come on. 43 should be over soon, surely. Oof. You know what would be better as well, actually? Um... I don't know if this will be good, but I'm going to go for it, actually. Ah, oh, hell no. Oh. Oh, my God. That was close. Yo. I didn't know, actually, BO4 did that. I didn't know Black Ops 4 did that. When your shield... Like, if you're cornered up, your shield explodes, and it just gets all the zombies out the way. Uh, it's actually a blessing right there. Oh, God. If your chicken is dry, you suck at cooking. Or well, you seriously fuck up. It's not that hard to make more chicken. Honestly, I, 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 hey, hey, I'm telling you, it must be a struggle over here in the UK because every chicken we get is drier than paper, if that would make any sense. It is literally dry. Honestly, drier than, uh, drier than anything. Honestly. <laughs> Sounded weird now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Honestly, chicken over here is really dry. Even even the McChicken Nuggets over at McDonald's. They're dry. I don't know if you guys have like a different, I don't know, way of cooking chicken, but I, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I don't know, I guess. What would you guys say your favorite preferable type of food is? You know, you got chicken, you got steak, you got a... I don't know. You got lamb. You got, um, like, bird you can eat. Uh, I don't know if you can eat bird, but, you know, you got, like, duck. Oh, God. Well, what would you guys say your favorite preferable meat is? You know, any type of food. I would love to know. And we are getting closer to 1.3k, guys. Um, if you are new, I do recommend hitting the subscribe and like. It does help us get us closer to 1.3k. Our main goal is 2k, guys. Again, it would be blessing to see us get up there, especially with the amount of streams we do. It would be nice. Hopefully, the streams are fun and stuff. Also, what is it with... There's not seasoning their food. Hey, over here, John, we do... Over, especially in this house, we do season our food. I think the only weird thing we do over here is we use the microwave to cook our food. That's probably the only weird thing over here, but we do season our food. Now, whoever doesn't season their food, criminal. Criminal. Can't believe that, you know? <laughs> Whoa, chill out there, bro. Yes, dog, attack him. Attack him. Oh, yo, this guy's actually doing all the work. Well, so that says chicken curry is mine. Ooh, chicken curry. I like it, man. I, you know, I've not really been a curry person, but I, I can respect that dude, you know, into a little bit of sp mild, spicy food, you know. Doesn't sound too bad. I'd say on, that sounds uh, quite good right there, man.
Yeah, I mean, think think of what other kind of meat there is, like like food to eat, meat. Um, just thinking, you got all types of meat. I don't know if I can hear a power up or not. That's probably just my head. I just I, I don't know. It's, Heard a power up nearby. Um, okay, right. 45 so far. We're actually getting really close, guys, which is actually looking quite nice. I kind of wish this chat was a bit faster, but hey, what do you expect? It's hardcore mode, you know. You can't expect much from hardcore mode. Hard cure mode. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Right, we're just going to have to just... Oh, can we explode like that? Nice, all right. They're all they're all getting affected by that. Oh, don't want to do that. I don't know if swapping out another gun might be a good idea or not, because this Death Orion just doesn't really do the job I'm kind of asking it for. Oh, that was good. You know what? We can actually use that area as a way to just gain uh, kill chains. We'll actually do that. Let's just bring him up around here again. All right. Right there. Right there. We're making some progress. Oh, I can't see a blooming thing. Okay, no, it didn't work. Did it? Eh, I don't think it did. Oh, look at these guys. They're just... Okay, I'm getting out of there. It's good that we've actually got a specialist weapon. Okay, I'm just going to go full around. My favourite meat. So you already know. Already know it, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So if it's chicken breast, oh, you know, with a bit of chips on the side, you can't go wrong with some chicken breast with chips on the side. Beans. Lovely beans. I can expect a lot from going hardcore. Hardcore can <laughs> Yeah, you're right. That just affect it or not? Oh, did that? Okay, as I did. Here we go. We are decking. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got another specialist weapon. Uh, specialist power up. Nice one. Things are going according to plan, guys. This is going pretty well. It's just this area that just blocks us off. I don't know why it blocks us off. Fucking big stuff. Oh, suckling pig stuffed with lamb and lobster glaze with honey. Oh, 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 That is making the old tummy rumble full of joy. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a bit of pig stuffing actually pig could be really good like uh, pork and stuff Oof. can't go wrong with a bit of pig they're gonna uh, they're gonna disable it gonna go through there oh 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 These guys just don't say no to dying. I feel that does kill the zombies as well when you blow up the napalm zombies. That would be quite cool. Just going to spray and pray. Does that kill them? I think that does kill them. That, 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 that gives us an advantage. Yes, that does, I think, anyway. Okay, right. This seems... Okay. Nice one. We're doing some progress here. They're going to disable the trap. Oh, not too good. What's, uh, what's the pig? <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> you know, the best pepperoni pizza I've ever had was made with turkey pepperoni. It was so good. Oh, really? Turkey pepperoni? You know, that's pretty cool, John. I've never tried turkey pepperoni, but I could actually see that being kind of cool. C kind of tasty. You know, turkey pepperoni pizza. Oh, shit. Shoot, I mean. Let me just... Plus, uh, chanderellas in butter as a side dish. Oh, okay. Feeling quite exquisite, I see. <laughs> that does sound quite good. That does actually sound quite good, man. I guess, I, I guess, like, John's and Rude Nonsense's food could just mix together. You can have pepperoni pizza with t turkey pepperoni <laughs> mixed with... <laughs> Uh, suckling pig stuffed with the lamb, the lobster. I mean, they could go with a good mix. I could see it going with a good mix. You can't go wrong with that. We are Gordy Ramsay, uh, Gordon Ramsay special. Oh, I knew I would do that. I'm, that's dumb. That's just dumb. Hopefully that did kill them rather than do nothing, but... You know what we might actually try and get? I think this would be a good idea. Let's, um... Let's use this. Yeah, refreshes your cooldown equipment. Okay. So we can actually just start killing a bit faster. Oh, what do we just get? What do we just get? What do we just get? Nice one. W right there. Do uh candrillas grow in your area? Chanderellas? Nah, I don't. I don't think they do it nonsense. I mean, I think they they might do because I'm sure over there would be the same. Uh, is it climate or um, growing conditions that would be the same over there to over here? Like, I think Germany and UK is not too far from apart, but I don't know what they are. Are they um, chan chanderels? Ch chan yeah, chanderels. Hmm. Is it like a type of tree or anything like that? Could it be the... I think I know what you mean. The stuff that grows that has that nice smell to them. Um, The minty smell. I don't know if it's that. If it is, then yes, we do have that. In fact, one of my mate's house has them. I think turkey and chicken substitutes for beef can be exceptionally tasty. Sometimes it tastes even better than beef. And has less fat and calories as well, which means you can eat twice as much sometimes. <laughs> See, that's good, you know? It's always good to try and choose a healthy option to eat. I mean, you don't always want to have, like, a, you know, a option with most fat and stuff. I mean, you know what I mean? Grow in the woods after the rain. A mushroom? Oh, okay. Um, We might do. I, The mushrooms normally over here, you, we get... Um, you can get all types of mushrooms over here. You can get the poisonous ones or the, the ones that you shouldn't eat. You can get the ones that grow, which are psilocybin, I think. But, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to find them. And then you can get the ones that are, um, like, edible. But you might have to clean them. I remember he was going, um, one of my mates was like, into like that whole mushroom stuff and he was like oh it's a perfect time to search for them we ended up finding like we ended up finding them psilocybin mushrooms right and, like obviously we was going to do the stupid option and stuff and uh experience it but he ended up saying no keep 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 them in an envelope in uh, what we, we put them in this plastic bag and it was like, keep them. I was like, they're going to get moldy. Like, they're going to get moldy. And 
it was like nah it's fine i'll keep them fresh in the air you know and like a day later they were they were literally like turned black like like just pitch black because they were gone off it was bad that's the only ever time that we've ever found them um special kind of mushrooms they're pretty cool as well. They were skinny little things. I don't... Again, I think... I mean, if we could have... I mean, it could have been dangerous. So, I, you know. But, yeah. It was kind of interesting, man. Google the name area and click on pictures. I bet you know them from the supermarket. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. If it's the white ones, the... um, Or the, the kind of, like, brownish ones, I think. I don't know what you mean. Let's have a look. have a look uh, let me go on to google uh you know what uh oh yes we do have them wait actually do we i think i've seen them before but i yes i think we do i think we do actually have them yeah we have them i've seen them before i'm pretty sure what are they? Found in Eurasia, North Africa, growing forest areas. Initially gained uh, popularity as an edible mushroom in there. Uh, tastes like, tastes fruity, and can even have a hint of rooted peach flavor. Really? Okay, that's actually quite good. Looking chicken substitutes even better than vegan garbage substitutes. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess if, like, if it's vegan, then it's vegetarian. So, like, how could someone make... Like, I mean, if, if it's, like, vegetables, and that's good. But you know how, like, you see people make uh, vegan burgers? Like, I just couldn't see that being, making any sense, because vegan is vegetable. I don't know if it's, like, compressed vegetables. I don't know. Yeah, so yummy and butter with uh, a bit of salt. Oh, I could imagine, man. It said it had, on, like, a nice peachy flavor. Which is quite good. I, I think we have them over here in nonsense. I'm, I'm sure I've seen them before. We have them ones. Then we got like the ugly looking ones, which are like massive. Because I'm near the, like the countryside, so it's it's quite normal to see, you know, an odd mushroom growing around. We, we used to have like a an old trail, uh, a rail railway track from like the early 1900s, which was pretty cool. So it's uh, quite cool being with like nature and stuff. Just going out, going to go in the woods with mates. I don't know, just exploring, walking about. That's the only thing you can really do. Good thing I don't care for mushrooms, so I'll never run into that problem. Yeah, no. Nah. I mean, that, I wouldn't advise anyone to go out their own way and just pick and eat mushrooms off the floor. Like, that wouldn't be good. If you know what you're doing, like, if you're a professional, then I guess, okay, that's all right. But if you just, if you look on YouTube like a mushroom guide and say, ah, oh, th this looks cool. This mushroom looks like the mushroom I've seen on YouTube that's edible. And I need to... I wouldn't recommend that, because... You know... It's a no-brainer, just it would be bad. Vegan food is full of chemicals and crap because... They can't make veggies and beans taste good on their own. Veggie and burgers can be a decent, but... I'd rather have actual beef. <coughs> yeah, I, I just couldn't really, like... See, like, that's the thing, like, I mean, if they're just made by chem from chemicals, like, if, if they are, then what's the point of calling it a vegan burger? Might as well just be honest and be like, look, it's a burger that's made half with vegetables and half with just, I don't know, fatty chemicals that have a lot of fat in, I don't know. I just wouldn't make any sense for it being a vegan burger. Again, I don't really know, though, because I think I've only had one vegan burger before, and that was it. You know what we just realised? We sh we could have been able to use our, uh, our thing. Uh, that would have been good, man.
There we go. I had vegan um, gryoza three weeks ago. It was made from mushrooms and soy. Oh, okay, yes. I mean, I'm guessing... I think soy is what makes, like, everything compact and stuff, if I'm correct. Like, I couldn't imagine... I couldn't imagine them, like, having... I don't know. Compressed carrots together, if you know what I mean there. Like, I'm guessing they use the soy to compress all the vegetables together, which is quite good. Another problem is that vegan food is generally way too expensive because of the, of the chemicals and crap. We just get beef, chicken, and turkey. I don't know. I mean, when we talk about chemicals, I, I'm sure with... Obviously, there's some products that you can buy that's beef that is just plain beef and stuff. Just give me two seconds, guys. But yeah, I mean, what, what was we talking about? Oh yeah, with with uh, with like meat products and stuff that like uh, like with bacon. If you get like bacon and stuff, I think like that can be watered down with preservatives and chemicals. I don't know. It's, if it's just in food in general, I just feel like anything that's sold can have chemicals in. But with vegan, I don't know. If it's they're trying to say the food is vegan, and if they are putting in chemicals, that wouldn't make it vegan. That would just make it. I'll make it part vegan. That wouldn't be... It just wouldn't really make any sense if they're putting chemicals in something that they call vegan. It's been like 100% beef. It's like, well, no, you're putting in preservatives to make that beef last longer, which is then initially bad for you to eat, and it's not 100% beef. Basically, anyway. Or, yeah. Granted, there's nothing wrong with having vegetable for uh, veg uh, vegetarian food. Um, or in foods, you just need to have a balance and can't expect everyone to go vegan. That's just stupid. Oh yeah, I mean, I feel like I mean having having meat is like eating like steak and stuff is 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 part of a routine to have. Like you gotta eat meat in order to you know be healthier and stuff. Uh, I feel like oh shit, I feel like not having Oh my god. Not having meat and just vegetables will make you probably really skinny. I would guess anyway. For some people it would be a different effect though. Soy provides protein. So yeah, like with... I don't know if there's like different types of protein. I don't know. I, this is the thing. I'm not like educated on this. I, I'm like the last person that could give you a, a solid uh, real answer about proteins or whatever but i don't know if there's like different versions of protein there's like obviously proteins that you get in vegetables and there's proteins that you get in meat if they either do the same job or don't do and i'm sure when you eat meat it um it, it it's good for it's good for like a uh, body structure i think anyway rather than um eating vegetables it, it, it's good for you but again i don't know I'm just rambling on a bit too much. Oh, God. I think I'd rather have chickpeas and ga uh, garbanzino beans instead of soy. Hmm. I've never tried soy. I think I might have. I might have. I don't know. Let me just think soy. I'm sure I've tried it before. Ah, shoot. Ah, oh, clap. Oh, that's looking rough. Meat also has certain proteins and vitamins 
that are essential to the human body that can get you from vegetables and uh like i'm so alone oh legumes alone the human body was never meant to just eat one type of food yeah yeah i, I feel like because with one type of food there's one type of like vitamin or one type of thing that would be good for you but if you're just eating say, say if you just eat um say if you just eat chicken all the time like i don't know some people it won't really affect them as much but with other people it you know it, it like they will have a uh, they won't have enough of this um vitamin inside their body it's a bit like not having any fruit if you don't have any fruit then you're gonna uh, what is it i think vitamin d deficient or vitamin c deficient and you know that could cause some issues with you like it's good to just have many of every many everything of little you know like one night you have some vegetables or the, mixed with meat and then the next night you you know it's it's good to have a mix of everything you know oh you know what i forgot damn dude uh i'm not gonna risk it i am not gonna risk it nah i can't risk it if i do risk it then it's just stuff's gonna hit the fam oh god yeah, let me just pop this thing. Or ch chug this thing. <laughs> oh, there we go. Can't get wrong with a bit of that. In Germany, we say, uh, we say, we are what we eat. If you eat too much chicken, you become shit. <laughs> hey, bro, that's, a, that's an awesome way of saying it, man. Literally. <laughs> If you eat too much chicken, you know, you're going to become a chicken. You know, if you eat too much um, cow, you're going to become a cow. You're going to start mooing, you know? If you, for some weirdly reason, eat too much hamster, you're going to become a hamster. <laughs> I don't know if anyone eats hamster, but... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Bags from Germany. Bags right there, man. Oh, oh, dude, we're on forty-six, dude. No bloody way. Oh my god, we're getting there. Oh no. Right, we got to get our stuff sorted out, guys. This is not looking good. Also, I love fish sushi because uh, one of my favourite foods of all time. Sushi can be good tasting. Fish. Oh, fish with pasta. You just can't go wrong with it, man. Just like this game. You can't go wrong with going down. <laughs> Money messing. Oh, a dying wish, though. You can't go wrong with that. Put that trap on. Splatteroo. You got phase blaze. Oh, oh, blooming out. Hey, yo, I'm out of there. Now you know why German people look like a bit. <laughs> uh, you know, it would it talk about Germany, it would be cool to go over there. Um, I'm sure they, like they, I'm guessing every country is doing it now where they legalize, like, uh, you know, the green. Yeah, they legalized that over there, if I'm correct, recently. I could be wrong, though, but, um, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know. Do you, would you guys, like, I guess, for, for you being over there in Germany, is it changed that they've legalized weed over there? Like, you see everyone just smoking in public now, or is it just like, uh, I don't know, because I heard it on the, I think it was on YouTube, I think. But they legalized it. Oh, hopefully we don't go down. But it would be cool to travel over to Germany. It sounds nice over there, man. Sounds like a cool, chill place. Oh, okay. No, you know why. Okay, no. <laughs> Ah, it's round 47, finally. 
Okay, probably not. Probably not. Yes, they will change it uh, at the 1st of April. Really? Oh, my God. I bet they're going to have, like, uh, festivals over there. Just everyone just, you know, having a massive sesh over there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I bet that would be crazy. Oh, can this guy stop? I might just swap out this death of Orion. <laughs> I may test it and stream it live. Oh, see what that would be like, dude. Yeah, my lady. <laughs> it would be crazy to see a, see a, see a chilled out version. Well, Rude Nonsense, is already, Rude Nonsense is already chilled out as it is, but even more chilled out version of Rude Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> oh john though says um advice on eating salad get salad made from spinach uh and other dark green um iceberg lettuce go bad so quickly i've had to throw out two salads this week because of that iceberg salad i've never heard of it i'm guessing it's a type of salad and stuff that they have over there or just anywhere you know I don't know if iceberg salad is like more green salad, like more of a darker green type of salad. I don't know if it could be that. Oh, this thing kind of does good. This thing actually does really good. I told my mom uh, not to buy salads with meat. The day before uh, the day before fish day uh, on Lent, she got annoyed. But uh, but throwing away an eight dollar salad is more annoying. Oh yeah, I mean when foods cost you know a fairly bit of money, and uh, you know it it it, uh, it goes off quickly. It's not so nice. It isn't nice, I'd say. It's always good to eat food like uh, you know when it lasts and stuff. When it's like, you know, proper out of date, it's not nice. You, you know, you kind of think, oh, damn, how long have they had this uh, th this food in the store for, you know? Have they been keeping this thing on for, like, ages? I have a feeling that we are going to almost F up because we're on 8,000 8, points right now, which is not good. God. I'm going to have aftertaste just in case. Double points. That would kind of help, but at the same time, not really. We need to keep our points up, though, guys. We need to keep our points up. Okay. I say that, but we've just spent for that. Oh, okay, I'm... Uh, okay. Uh, I also would have never broke... Uh, would have never broken Lent this year if my mum didn't. 
up and leave me only food with me in the fridge and either this month sometimes she doesn't know how to buy fuck's <laughs> sake i don't know parent yeah no parents coming on there <laughs> yeah nah i don't know i sometimes they'll forget what kind of food to eat i guess like what kind of food you asked or what kind of food you're into and it's just be like oh damn you forgot again <laughs> Come on, give me more points. Come on. Just give me more points. Oh my god, whoa. Come on, I need to we need to really save our ammo here, you know guys? This is bad. Oh. Right, okay. Can we just go through here real quick? Nice one. Let's have a quick look. Uh, going on to those says this. Uh, they make me happy every act. Um, make me happy and very uh, active. A bit like. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, my bad. I read. I read above renaissance. My bad. I didn't read above. Since I take my uh, pills, antidepressants. Don't smoke weed. Uh, can be dangerous to mix the both in the same. But it really actually makes you feel like that. No way. It actually makes you feel like you're on that. Yeah, because normally when when you're on that, you feel really good, you know? Everything feels comfortable. It feels so good that you can sleep. You know what I mean? I've never liked the hangover, though. Of, you know? <laughs> but dude, if it actually makes you feel like like that and stuff, that's that's actually crazy, man. Love to get me hand on that. <laughs> oh man. Oh god, we're on like literally. How much points we got? Oh, just take, just take my thing. Yeah, no, no, no way, dude. Fair play, man. Fair play. I. Again, it would be nice to have some. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you know what I've just realized? We can do this, and this will gain us up points. Hopefully, it gains us up points. Does it, or does it not? I don't know. D does anyone know like, the chemical that they have for antidepressants? Like, I don't know. I've always found it interesting to look in, like, Things like that, like what? What isn't? What is the chemical for that? Uh, in the clinic, they gave me. Um, oh, really? They actually. Really? That's insane, dude. That. Fair play, man. A bit of. Bit of K. Huh? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, I mean. See, I, I don't, like, I'm guessing they would have to take it in small doses because, obviously, you know, if you take, obviously with, I'm just going to call it K, you know, you take K and it makes you feel, like, proper dizzy and, you know, you're in, makes you feel like you're in a dream state, really, you know. Um, I guess, you know, I guess it's understandable, though, why they would do it for... Hey, I, I would understand it more for K. What like like why they would give that out to people? I, I could understand actually. Oh god, these guys are just not stopping. But yeah. Uh... Oh my god, get away! Oh, okay, nice try. Right, we actually got that. That's pretty good. John there says, uh, uh, or oh, she buys me too much certain food, and. Uh... I get sick of them from away and stuff. That goes bad. Yeah, I, I feel you there, man. You know, I don't know. Normally, yeah, it did happen. Do you know what I mean? It does happen. I was sitting at dinner, and the older woman talked about you know, they drink two times a week. Nose spray, right? No, are they having for nose spray? I mean, yeah, I I can imagine like how they would take it normally. 
the way I've the way that I would think you would take it, you know, it would um you know, you would have a bank card, a, a note, you know. <laughs> Oh, man. I'd say doing anything like that, you know, if, if you just experiment with it or, you know, if it's just a one-in-time kind of thing, having a bit of fun, that's all good. Doing anything in mod... Well, okay. Doing some things in moderation is okay, I'd say. I've never really become, like, addicted to anything, to be fair. I don't know. I don't know, like, if anyone has become addicted to that kind of stuff. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to head out. I'm a dehydrated, hungry, and I need some concentration on my current assignment. Yeah, no problem, I'd say, uh, John. I'll catch you on the next one as well, man. Um, have a great day over there, bro. Have a great day over there. All right. Yeah, and my concentration is kind of running out on this. I need to get this done ASAP. Or oh, this is just going to become very, very slow. Right, okay. Here it comes. And the crazy thing is, the uh, health insurance company paid for everything. That's insane. I, it's interesting. Like, really? Like, they would use that um, type. Like, I heard, I've heard off the internet. Um, I think, uh, who else actually talked about I think it was Corey um, from the streams as well. He talked about how K is used for uh, an antidepressant and stuff. I could see why, to be honest. I could see why. I, c I didn't... If they use anything else, though, like... I don't know. I don't think that would make any other sense. Like, obviously, other kind of things that would you would see in, like, a... You know, a sesh or a party, you know? What do I mean by... Yeah. Like, if they used MD for, uh, for antidepressants, I couldn't see that making any sense, really, because... I feel like that... I don't know. The long-term effect of that is just going to make you feel like crap. As well as other... Kind of things, but hey, I'm I'm not a, I don't know any, I don't really know too much about it. All I know is, just makes you feel, you know. Right, let's have a quick look at this. Whoa! Oh my god, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, I came back to say that uh, China came out in the study that gaming can increase a risk of electric... Oh, dysfunction as a game, I can tell you this is cat. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god. I I mean I yeah, I, I that has to be that has to be a lie, right? Surely. The only reason I could see that being false is if someone was to I don't know, like if you if you think about it, like if you're sitting in all the time and you're not moving, you're lowering I guess I don't know. I, I, again, I don't really know. I don't want to. I don't know anything really. But could it be because you're lowering your testosterone or something? Because you're sitting down and just moving? I don't know. I really that. It's, what the hell? Sean is on some uh, weird stuff right there. <laughs> China, you know, they're not China. Trying to find out all these, you know, new important things. Then China just comes up with <laughs> gaming will. Affects your erectile dysfunction. <laughs> yeah, let me just get this. The doctors only have it for patients with chronic depression and Alzheimer's. People who tried everything else. Oh, okay. That's understandable. And again, I, I could genuinely see why that would be. Um, I, I could see that being a benefit. Yeah, could see that. I could see that, like, why they would use that, because, I don't know. Don't want to, yeah. Okay, come on, we got to get this done. 
Taken way too long for this. Oh no. Oh, that's going to take all my things off, isn't it? That's annoying. Um, let's have a look. Uh, gaming is not going to... I'm just trying to, trying to control. That is oh, for people. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it could be. It could be, John. It could be. Uh, I don't know, though. I... <laughs> and I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that, man. I'm back. Hey, welcome back in. Alex, hi back. Hey, welcome in back. Glad to see you. <laughs> nah, glad to see you though back in, Alex. How are you, man? We're on 49 at the moment. Oh, God. Oh, we got a full round as well. No. Okay. That's all cool. That's all cool. Oh, slide, dude. We don't really have much points. We really don't have many points. If we could just try and, can we just do that? So, oh, look at that! Look at the amount of points it's building us, guys. Look at that! Oh my god, that's actually awesome right there. The amount of points that's given us. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is going to be really helpful. How many points do we... Okay, we lose about... I think that's uh, three shots we lose whenever we do a power shot, which is okay. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Look at... Oh, bro, the amount of points, right? That's going to be great, guys. The reason why we need points is because shield's going to go down, and um, yeah. Points ASAP. Oh, God. Let's have a quick look, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. How oh, that dog's just glitched out. That's really helpful, though. That is helping us out a lot. It's getting us um, faster recharge for our lethals as well, which is good. Give us more points, more points. Oh my god, come on. We've got this. We've got this. Oh god. Holy. We got up to. Oh, nice. We got some good money now. Oh yeah, guys, if you haven't already, turn on gifted memberships. I do recommend it. 
Um, it's mainly optional, but yeah, if you guys haven't already, uh, we do have gifted memberships allowed. So if you guys do turn it on, you guys can have a chance to become a member for free if anyone does gift out any memberships, which is awesome. John, though, says, then again, fake. Uh... Oh, wait. Almost every day. And I avoid uh, sugary foods. So that's probably increased my testosterone quite a bit. Oh, I take um, as. As. No, ashwagandha. What the hell is ashwagandha? Is it like a type of. um, uh, How can I say? Is it like one of them uh, mineral kind of tablets that you uh, take? Oh, God. If it's like one of them, they can be good for you. I think one of my mates takes them. Not too bad. Just give me two seconds, guys. Right, okay. We'll have to end... Uh, we'll have to just finish this round real quick, guys, because I do have my dinner waiting on the side, which is not the door good. Okay. It says, what kind of conversation did I stumble upon? <laughs> Dude, it started from, I think, like, medicine, and then it came to John coming in. John, John said he was going to take a break, and then he came in and then said, apparently they've figured out um, that if you game for too long, then you have erectile dysfunction. I mean, that makes a whole load of sense now. Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking, but you know what I mean? <laughs> like, hey, yo, what the hell? Did you went down or the join the run? Yeah, so he went down once, Alex, unfortunately, bro. But we're staying strong, man. I don't know if you've done this before on Hardcore, but as you see, it is absolutely ruthless. It is not easy, my man. Oh, no. But yeah, we did go down. Luckily, we got all our perks back up, which is a benefit right there. But if we weren't off, then that would have been bad. The thing is, Alex, I'd say, if, if, if you were to try this, it's just a matter of fact, it just doing the strategy or any kind of strategy just moving constantly because it's hardcore now hopefully this works out with the tournament that we do i don't know if it would or not i don't know no it's herbal vitamin ah herbal there we go okay okay that's good though man it's always good to have things that are herbal for you you know healthy things healthy from the ground the roots Oh, no. I can hear a power drop somewhere. Oh, my God. Um, Edgy, have you uh, done the classified round 150? Nah, sadly not, Alex. It would be cool to, though. Sadly not, though, man. I think we tried to own for 100 on that map, and it was difficult. It was actually quite challenging, to be honest. Right, is it going to be a dog round or a max ammo round? Let's have a quick look, guys. If it's not, then we'll just end it. Oh, I have a fit. Ah, no, it's no, it's flight. We'll just leave match. Leave match. Right, 49. Really 50, but... Um, makes you feel like more of a man or... <laughs> oh, two sex. Do 
Discord says, sort of. It mostly makes you feel more calm, which is something that helps me a lot. Now, that's good. I mean, exercise is good. It, I can't really talk about exercise, but I mean, how to help you guys out, exercise is good. You know, you guys want to be exercising. They can jog down the road or, you know, fast walking to town or something. Okay, oh, nice, nice one. We got a good amount of um, thingies. Let's get the uh, three random elixirs, a chance of a talisman, um, one triple guaranteed rare or better elixir, plus two random elixirs, uh, two random elixirs with a guaranteed talisman. All right, we'll do this one, guys. Will you ever do a classified on 150 attempt? I would like to, Alex. It would be nice to, man. Um, we can come back to classified again, right? That would be awesome. But I think the last time we did classified was not too long ago, actually. It was actually not too long ago, but yeah, it was really fun. We can come back to it soon, though. I think it's nice that we got a round fifty on this map. Really happy that we can still stay strong for some BO4. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Makes you feel like a total. <laughs> <laughs> you can make exercise fun and do it. I mostly stopped because of weather and fucking boring weather. Nah, I mean, sometimes just pushing through the boredom is good, man. You know? Hey, we talked about AI. Build pigs with lobster, get them in the brain, ways to increase testosterone. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, we're talking about the whole thing today, you know? The whole thing. Lobster is right. Lobster's not too bad. I, I, I've never tried lobster actually, so I can't put an opinion on that, but prawns are good. When did we talk about lobster? Oh, I think, John, it was when, um. Well, when was it? I think when Renonson said, uh, like, uh, what is this, the, one of the tops of food over there, I think, um, it was, uh, pig, pig stuffing with lobster, I think. But yeah, I think we're gonna call it a GG's, guys. It's been a really good stream. We are gonna call it an end off for today's stream, guys. I think tomorrow we're gonna be doing, um, I don't know, we might do, we might do some BO3 customs for tomorrow, guys. Um, playing the maps that you guys want us to play. It's going to be really interesting. I think it's going to be quite fun. We're going to do maps like um, Evil Dead, the map that Alex Marsa has recommended us. If you guys do have any recommendations for a map, please let me know through Discord. I will be more than happy to try the maps out. It can be any map, just obviously, and yeah, just any any map, you know. So she is a uh, is, is Dookie really? Oh, you're not sushi from Aldi. Oh, you can't go wrong with it. I don't know, you know. Salmon is also better. You got salmon, you got lobster, you got sushi. Salmon hard? Yeah, salmon's nice. You know, it's got that um that nice texture. When we talked about the uh the the face of a dinner, John. <laughs> I said suckling pig stuff with lamb and lobster. Glazed with honey. See that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine a cooked pig's head on a on a silver plate with honey drizzled all over it, with his mouth stuffed with lobster. <laughs> You're clearly good food. Ah, oh, nah, come on. I, I think he's had some good food. Come on, hey. I think we've all got a good style of food, you know. I guess with these, he has has got the tacos. John's got the nice beef, you know. Rude Nonsense has got the nice, you know, pig. <laughs> pig stuffed with lobster with glazed drizzled honey. I think I think Alex is from, from what I've heard him, he likes to have um uh is it ramen noodle, I think. <laughs> I actually went to a place where, where the sushi is top of the line, just not my thing. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, I sent you a link in the video after sharing. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem, nonsense, no problem. I should be able to check it out straight after the stream and stuff, man. 
But yeah, I think we'll be calling it a GG's for the stream. <laughs> hopefully all you guys enjoy hopefully all you guys enjoyed it. Had a good time watching. Um and yeah, have an amazing day with the guys. Peace out. Peace out, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day with the guys. <laughs>